Hey everybody, Arthur here with a special little chit chat toy fair conversation. And today we have a guest from the fellow collecting cannibals group, uh, the group that I made. And uh, it is Laser Pants, as you can see there. And hopefully you guys have already joined cannibals. I tell you at the end of my videos, if you've made it that far through my videos, come on and join in. You get to do cool stuff like this and plus meet cool people, especially like this guy well it's this direction instead of this direction <laughs> but uh go ahead laser pants introduce yourself to the people watching hey i'm laser pants uh brian join plastic cannibals i'm in there a lot um i collect stuff not just stuff you collect figures everything. yeah figures comic books so today we're actually going to be talking about some Toy Fair 2020 stuff. I'm sure if you're in any collector groups, you are going to be hounded with photos and opinions and opinions are not always the best. They could be mine are. Well, I mean, <laughs> sometimes, but I mean, they, they could be unwanted, like an extra butthole or something on your elbow. But those, <laughs> those are opinions. So we're going to be sort of going through all of them. Uh, if we miss anything, don't kill us because they revealed a lot. And one of the heavy hitters, I would have to say, and I, I would assume Ryan would agree. I would say Hasbro came out swinging. Yeah, for sure. It, it, it was killer. And even a lot of the stuff that people were kind of like, why are they doing these figures i was all for but we'll get into that yes we will get into that and actually well, let's go ahead and just jump right into it so we're going to start with something that i feel everybody says they will never collect again but they always seem to come back to these figures and even though and, and i'm one of those people i want to cut them away so bad but they're just so good and they i, I got to complete my teams so we're going to start with Marvel Legends. Ooh. So let me go ahead and turn this into a slideshow. Nice. And right there we get uh, Frank Castle. And why is that thing going so fast? So you got Frank Castle here. I think it looks badass. I think it looks really badass. I think that's the best use of that motorcycle so far. Um, and just... You know, as a customizer, the the possibilities of what to do just with that buck and man, that's dope. Yeah, we're gonna end up not doing the slideshow because it's wanting to move too fast. Oh, okay. So, and Judd's over there saying, "I will never stop collecting." <laughs> that is, that <laughs> is, uh, I yeah, I just got not enough room and awesome. Got a yeah. nice little interruption here. Restart tonight. So there we go. So we got him. It looks like he's going to be just wearing like some civilian style clothing with the spray painted skull on it. And uh, I do like his, this face is all beat up. He has like bandages and stuff on his face. He's got that helmet too. I don't know if it's in one of those pictures, but it's got that like helmet with the Viking horns coming out of it. I did not see that at all. In yeah, they had pictures. that. They had that in the display. And then we got it, uh, oh, him on his ride, sick, man. Like well, they showed Matt, him, they they showed him with a bat and a machete, but I haven't seen any guns yet. I mean, they gave us plenty of guns with a lot of the other Punisher, so you can definitely easily easily switch the accessories over. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I got a ton of one twelve scale guns, but but is that a different sorry. bike or is it the same bike they've been rehashing? No, no, that that that's the Logan bike, the Ghost Rider bike, Captain America bike. It's the same one. It just looks like a little bit like right here has a little bit like almost like flatness to it. Let me look at that Ghost Rider bike. Yeah, Ghost Rider bike has that. Okay, so they just made it matte black. Yeah, it's still it's still awesome. I mean, we can never have enough motorcycles, and that they're they are making them sort of feel different a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it looks way more real than the other ones. You know, the uh, that Logan one just looked like cheap plastic. Right. And this yeah. one would be pretty cool. Get some like dry brush, some silver onto it, give it some wear and stuff. And I think that would even oh, make yeah. it more, make it pop more. Yeah. And it looks I mean, like we got uh, like a million Punishers now. And if you got the Mezco Punisher, you're probably good. But I, I'm picking this one up for sure. Yeah, I'll pick it up for sure. I mean, the last Punisher, that GameStop exclusive Punisher they released was pretty badass looking too. So they're doing better. Yeah. 
better with these figures. So yeah. the next one we got a figure that I've been waiting for heavily. Like growing up as a kid, like I always like I was a Juggernaut fan, but Black Tom and Juggernaut were always you know thick as thieves, and it's a cool looking figure, and they nailed it. I just I'm unsure about that face. Judd said, "Now we need a Iron Man with that bike." No, we don't need an Iron Man. <laughs> Put some hover skis on it. <laughs> no, no. We already got a Captain America with the bike. You know, we don't need yeah. Iron Man. Next, we'll have uh, Spider Man with the bike. Yeah, what I mean, the Black Tom definitely a character we needed. I don't think we've had one since the five inch days in the nineties. Um, it looks pretty plain, but it looks like Black Tom Cassidy, so it's dope. I like it. But I wonder if they're going to one, I, I hope they give us some sort of effect that could go onto the staff or something or an alternate head, you know, after cable said hello to him. I don't know, man. As we go through some of these reveals, these figures coming in are light on accessories. You know, yeah. the only ones really coming with anything are what they're calling deluxe and charging thirty dollars for. But so. look at that! Like the skull looks cool, and then it gets all—I yeah. don't know. Like, why did they make it brown? They could have like done something a little bit with that. Less, they could, yeah, they could less dong-like. That would have cost money, <laughs> though. Yeah, right. But the figure looks pretty solid. I think it'll look cool standing next yeah. to Juggernaut for sure. I was, I was uh, on a stream last night with Rectangular, and he pointed out that is the Shatterstar Buck. Really, and it is same boots. Yeah, gloves, hands. Body, legs, that's Shatterstar. Just like that upper chest piece with the collar might be different. I'm okay with it. I thought yeah, Shatterstar no, was no, an yeah, underrated it, figure for sure. Yeah, it's a good buck. I could do without this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much Deadpooled out. I'm extremely Deadpooled out. I don't, yeah, I don't need a blue Deadpool. I don't know anything about this. I know it's like, I guess when you join the X Men, supposedly, I have yeah. no idea about this version i of think Deadpool. it's it, it's way too modern to have ever come across my radar i mean i know mesco did one like two years ago but i didn't get that one either yeah i just, just not interested <laughs> bright blue and yellow is just weird uh, yeah now this was one i'm yeah. i was excited for but i'm a little disappointed i thought he was a little bit of a bigger guy maverick was no so he was about average guy yeah, I mean, he's a comic book character, right? He's ripped, but I, I don't remember him ever being super tall or anything. Uh, action figure addict, we did not start talking about the Deadpool 2 figures. Or Deadpool 2 figures. Um, we're just sort of going through. We've only been through a couple figures so far. So you guys are catching it just at the best time, the beginning. Ooh, Dreadnought bikes. Joshua Pollock, I see Dreadnought bikes in the future. Oh, for that helped. Punisher? Yeah, he did yeah. mention, too, that that Punisher would be really good with Joes. You know, yeah. six-inch Joes and stuff like that. Punisher, the leader of the Dreadnoughts. Yeah, we're seeing Maverick. We got Omega Red. I want a Lady Deathstrike. They got to give us that. It's way how, overdue. How do you feel about this uh, mac and cheese gold? Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty plasticky, pretty cheap. But for promo uh, shots, I mean, a lot of stuff can change, I, I hope. It could change, but with figures that that plastic, it's a real easy fix. If you got a can of dull coat, just spray it down, and it it takes away that look. But some of it even looks, doesn't even look, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be just gold, like real gold, or is it supposed to just be like yellow armor? No, he doesn't wear gold armor. I no. think, it, uh, yeah, just yellow. But see, what, what makes me happy about this is are we going to – it worries me at the same time. Are we going to get a three-pack with Maverick, and then we're going to have like a swatted out Sabretooth and a swatted out Wolverine? Yeah, I, they could do that. I mean, there's still a, a lot of year left, and there's still a lot more shows that are going to be revealing stuff. That is true. So. And then we got Big Haas. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So, oh, and I'm glad that uh, 
you have on your other screen, what you have going on, that's that will come in handy because I don't think I have them in this. I don't even know uh, where this came from. This is just a tab I had. I didn't even know I had it open. Uh, but yeah, Strong Guy looks awesome though. Yeah, and they didn't really say, specify if he's a build a figure. Is he a build a figure? He is. Yes, I think for that Deadpool wave. Oh no. Yeah, you got to buy some Deadpools, bro. <laughs> I hate being forced to buy figures that I don't want just yeah. to build a figure that we need for our X factor team. Hey man, it's Hasbro. They'll put, they'll put them out single packed in like a year and a half. True. But this thing's this thing's awesome though. I, I had the original, yeah. original figure. And yeah. The, always... the old five inch toy biz. Yeah. That was the yeah. last one we got. It's sick. It's a, and it's about time we got a strong guy. And this actually looks great. I think they nailed it with the sculpt and everything. Yeah. We got Sunspot. It. Yep. I had that toy biz when I was a kid. That was so did I. <laughs> he was yeah. one of my favorites. Him and yep. that uh the diff the modern Shatterstar, the one that had like the orange in them. The orange and white. I, I didn't have the orange one. I had the regular Shatterstar. Regular one. The one where you know held the swords and they just go like up and down. Yeah. That lever on his back. <laughs> oh wait, jump, jump back pack. to him. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I just really I think they nailed this this character. Hands mm -hmm. down, but we get this, yeah. we get these effects again, but they sort of look pretty cool for being black. It's I fine. Mean... Look, look, here's the thing. So I got this Hal Jordan in the other day. All right, hang on. Let me, look at that chunk of plastic, that. right? Let me switch to a... Couldn't Hasbro just do like a beam effect like this? I mean, it's not that much plastic. You know what I mean? Yeah, not at all. I want beam, like something shooting out something long not just something that clips on their wrist you know yeah, what i mean because it doesn't really clip on the wrist very well right right so let's see let's go back to where we were nope there we go so we're done with sunspots and we got warpath warpath yeah we saw him at new york toy fair uh new york comic-con too right that's when they revealed him yeah Looks great. Looks exactly, awesome. Exactly, exactly the figure that you know we wanted. Yeah, on the Omega Red body. Yeah. So he's got some butterfly joints hidden in there. I hope he comes with you know some knives and some knife holding hands. Probably not. <laughs> right. <laughs> Probably not. Yep. They might release it with his brother. Then we got some uh, Hugh Jackman action. Pre-ordered. That's the Amazon exclusive. It's supposed to arrive in September. I have that's open over here. I mean, the face sculpt looks great. And I I get it, man. A lot of people, they're like, why are we going back to the Fox movies? I because want it. I want the, it. Like, I'm not, I personally am not going to be getting any of the Fox movie figures or anything like that. But the fact is, the ones that were released were shit. Well, yeah. I mean, that was 20 years ago. But know? still, they weren't even up to some of the caliber as... I think the closest ones we got that were decent was, like, I think Diamond Select released that uh, Wolverine from, like, the like the Wolverine movie. Yeah. And that yeah, was, I, I, I'm talking before that, back in the Toy Biz days. Toy Biz they, days. Had, they had the Spider-Man classics and Marvel Legends, and then they also did, like, X-Men movie figures. Right. And those were pretty, those are all pretty bad. But I mean, I think uh, this looks great. You got the bone claws going on. Yep. Bone claws, regular claws, and they look better than the regular comic version claws we usually get. Right. And you know, they're going to put a lot of money. Any of the MCU stuff, they're going to put all the details and paints and all that. Uh, yeah. Well, especially with it being an exclusive, you know, and they're charging $25. There's more room in the budget for them to make a better figure you got some Judd. butterfly joints in there it looks good man that's dope Judd, Judd said that the uh this alternate head looks like he's constipated but i, I mean <laughs> i get that maybe he but, is but look at those claws they actually look like the claws themselves are i don't know they're like different design than the other yeah, ones yeah. That we received yeah they're shaped like the ones in the movie they're kind of wider at the knuckle and then they kind of curve down to a point and these guys dog tags and stuff. Yeah. Solid figure. Yeah. 
<laughs> Another good one. <laughs> he, he just looks, uh, he's, I don't know. It just gave, gives me like a Jim Carrey vibe from that face. Just He just has like, his a normal smirk. straight face? Yeah, I don't know. It just sort of looks like he okay. has like a smirk. Yeah. But uh, but it looks good though. The leather jacket looks really good, and it's not that reused leather jacket that we've seen fifty million times. No, that's all new parts. I mean, probably the same legs as the other Hugh Jackman. Now, if Wolverine. you start getting into these, are you just gonna have like a shelf dedicated of all just strictly like Fox movies? Or are you just gonna blend them all in? The only ones I really want are Cable, Deadpool, Patrick Stewart, and Hugh Jackman. The rest I don't care about. I don't care about the Negasonic Teenage Warhead or the the Magneto. Right. You know, I don't care about those. I don't want those. But you want that. <laughs> I want that. Heck yeah. Actually, I'm going to try to do this. Let me see if I can do slideshow. Because it seems to be bigger on the screen for everybody when it's this way. Yeah. But it wants to... All right. We'll just keep it like this. But yeah, this uh, cable looks pretty awesome. Can't you just go like, can't you pause the slideshow as it's running? Maybe that's what spacebar is. Has it switched? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. There you go. So, yeah, so this one looks amazing. Um, again, mm -hmm. not collecting it, but I mean, all the detail they put into it, they got the bear. His arm looks good. Yep. All new parts, too, it looks like. And the layers. They're getting crazy with the layers. And what's. Yeah. And we're talking about this early. We got this flak vest here. How come this wasn't used on the Joes? I, there's not a lot of crossover between the teams that do this stuff. You know, you don't see a lot of parts going in between the lines. You would think so because they just I, have tons of parts they could use to make them. I, well, we could see it. We've only seen like what four GI Joe figures so far, but True. we'll get to that. Then we got ourselves Domino. And uh, I, I'm not. This to me isn't Domino. It's the movie Domino, but it isn't to me Domino at all. Yeah, pass. I, I don't. I mean, the, I like the movie. I like the, the character in the movie, but I don't I don't need right. this Domino. No, nope. it, it, doesn't yeah, it her sounds hair, awful. Her hair looks translucent. I think it's just how the light's hitting it. Okay, but even in in the sh in the case at the show at Toy Fair, it looked that way. Oh no! Yeah, it was weird. I mean, like it looks it's it looks exactly like the actress. I mean, it looks right exactly no, from the movie. It it's looks just... fine. Like the face doesn't really look like the actress, but everything else looks right. Uh, I mean, that's it's i would have to see side by side but it's not horrible it's not horrible no. and if if anybody likes the deadpool movie and they like her or in this film i mean pick up the figure you know yeah I just already got mine with the legends deadpool wave back when cable came out oh yeah the comic book one yeah then we get the deadpool yep i'm all in i want it looks pretty damn good it, it looks really good like the textures the swords. Yeah, it looks like the it looks just like a small hot toy. You know, have you seen if... the, the hot toy version of this guy? Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, this looks great. So I'm hoping, and I don't even know, does he come with an alternate head? I don't think he they haven't showed one yet. That'd be cool if we got an expressive head. Yeah, he's got a sheath on his ankle for a knife. And I'm starting to notice a lot with these figures too. They're actually putting storage for their weapons. Yeah. That's so, a I mean, big one. That's, that's cool. That's really cool. Uh, we got Harry said, uh, I wouldn't mind them attempting movie Juggernaut in the prison jumpsuit. That is true. That that's would cool. be freaking cool. Like Juggernaut is one of my favorite characters. Juggernaut, Venom, and Apocalypse. So it's like, I can't really be upset about that. Yeah. If you already have that Juggernaut bath, I think it's... Uh... GPS lot on eBay has really good soft goods you can put on them for that movie look, the jumpsuit prison look. And just make a custom head. Yeah, you, I mean, I've seen it all put together with the normal head. And it looked good. But yeah, if you wanted a movie head, you could do that. I don't know how, how deep they're going to go with this, you know? 
it, I, wonder I, I think it's a lot of testing the like the waters. Yeah, see how it sells. Yeah. What's up, Edge GT? We're just talking about some figs. Here you go, Same, Ryan. That's man. your favorite right there. No, I don't need it. You need it. No, I don't need it. You know, and then and then you get her build a figure girlfriend, whatever she was, Heinzico. I don't know. I don't know who the. Oh who yeah, the, I would take that one though. The little Asian girlfriend, yeah. just in regular street clothes. I always want normal street clothes figures. Just you know, for background characters and and photographs. Makes sense. Yeah. Because we get so many alternate heads and stuff, we can switch them around and right. you need you need civilians. Yeah. Pass. Let, <laughs> dude, his head looks so big. Is that I just mean, me? It's pretty it's pretty massive. Yeah. It is uh they they have issues, I feel like, with helmets on characters. Uh we had it with the dude from the Captain Marvel wave. Um, the villain. Oh yeah, the the. I can't think of his the name. The not villain. The one you thought was the villain. The, right, the right. Scroll right. guy. Well, Talos. No, not Talos. What bad guy? The, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ju Jude Law. Jude Law's character, yeah, with the helmet. Like the figure yeah. to me looked awesome, and I liked it. But a lot of people are pointing out the head, and he does have a giant head. Yeah, and this is sort of falling into that, you know, issue too. But they also have issues. If you look at that Magneto three pack, the head was too big because the helmet didn't sit down. Like this one seems like it's sitting down, and they're just like, blah, cram a face in there, or it's like a super tight helmet. Yeah, it's almost like one of those nineteen forties football player helmets. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <It kinda laughs> <looks like. laughs> you get a bunch of them and just make a football team. Right. I mean, I guess it kind of. I guess it's movie accurate, but I, th I feel I just... like he's too stocky as well. Yeah. Like he's very like thick and not yeah. in a good way. Yeah. Then there we go. I mean, with that head looks good. I kind of want that head sculpt, but I, I don't, I just don't want the, I don't want to, that body's not, I don't like that body. Yeah. And uh, honestly, this looks really Photoshopped. This looks like they just kind of, Photoshop the head into the picture or something, you know. Yeah, it doesn't really. The so head's it, fantastic though. It, yeah, it might look different when you have the actual real figure in your hand. Jan Rog, that's that guy's name. Yeah, Jan Rog. I only saw that movie once. Then we got you got the Professor X in the not so good wheelchair. Yeah, uh, I want it. <laughs> Now, are, are the are the front wheels supposed to be poking out like that? I I don't know. I don't think there's going to be any rolling action with this thing. Well, see the little front wheels. Yeah, they're the, bent the over. One? Like they're it looks like they're all. Side. It looks like the whole wheelchair is going to collapse. Yeah, I, I, I do. <laughs> it does like he's leaning forward because it's like collapsing, and he's like trying yeah. to brace himself for a fall. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a, a definite pickup for me. I, I do want the wheelchair, even though it looks kind of plasticky. That's a real easy fix with a little bit of paint. And I want yeah. the Patrick Stewart head. And you can't go wrong with a suited body either. Right. And if you notice that suited body, that that torso piece is an overlay like the MCU Killmonger. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you could probably even take that thing off. You might have to cut it, but you could take that off and then give him uh, the arms from Killmonger. And have that jacketless, rolled up sleeve look. Edge uh, mentioned in the chat that the tiny wheels could be on swivels, which those could be little ball joints in there, maybe. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's a good, a good point. possibility. Yep. But that Patrick Stewart head looks great. Yes, <laughs> Sandman said, "Yon Rog, the most boring MCU bad guy of all time." In the most boring MCU movie of all time. Captain Marvel sort of boring. I just, yeah, I didn't like it. I mean, it. Well, I, I watched it. I thought it was better than Ant-Man 2. Oh, I liked Ant-Man 2. But Ant-Man 2 is funny. You know, if you make me laugh, I'll, I'm good. You know, the, there was nothing really funny in Captain Marvel. That's dope. <laughs> 
Look at that. All those new effects. Yeah, I, I was just like, holy... Like, they had to. Because yeah. Toy Biz, again, put the bar so high that Hasbro has to come out with something like like they did with Doctor Doom. Yeah. Doctor Doom was fantastic. Still was missing, like, a, you know, some stuff, like removable faceplates, stuff like that. But yeah. it was still really good with texture. Like, this War Machine? Whew. Oh, sick. It's got that classic look. I love that look. That's like the best War Machine look. And they showed him in the case at Toy Fair um, with an unmasked head and that same blast off effect that they showed with that other Iron Man. Yeah. So this is going to be probably like that Black Widow that they announced with like like all like the stands and all that stuff, possibly. Unless they cram all this into one of those little boxes. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a deluxe, so like a $30 deluxe figure. All right, Ryan, have a good night, man. Oh, Ryan Thomas, I thought you were talking to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, see you later. <laughs> what? You kicking you know. me off? <laughs> you going solo? Let's see. Yeah, this Sammy guy. said I'd watch Ant-Man 2 over Captain Marvel anytime. I mean, just for Michael Pena, you know? What's up? True, true. What's up? Now, I know Paul was super excited about this figure. I was super excited. I still got a mint on card original Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse. Like, oh, the old, old Toy old Biz? One. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And cool. I love the fact that they did this. He has the two heads. They actually have a... I didn't find the picture. Yeah. He has a stern face, and then he has like the more like gloating face. Right. And I love the fact they put a skull. They weren't scared to put a skull accessory. Yeah. And it's not a build a figure, it's a single pack deluxe. Right. Which is cool. Now they should have uh and, and again, it's still early, too early to tell a little bit. It would be nice to give him like a saw blade arm or something because hopefully they give him something, yeah. I'm tired of buying a two pack to get a, a arm for apocalypse. Uh two no, it was with Archangel. It was a single right, it was a two yeah. pack that you had to buy to get the arm for apocalypse. Or no, it was yeah, it was a deluxe. The deluxe, yeah, Archangel it was a deluxe. Was. So you might see maybe more parts coming with one of the deluxe figures or something. Like Cannonball's legs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they can just give us an accessory pack with Cannonball's legs and some arms for Apocalypse. I take it. Yeah, there we go. I mean, they the toy companies should get into accessory sets or something like you want to buy some effects or weapons and stuff like that. You know, uh, Shardimus used to ask that to Hasbro every year at like Toy Fair, Comic Con, whatever. And they're always like, well, we'd rather put our money towards new figures. It's like, it, yeah, come on. You know, you've already got the molds. Right. You know, for some of these accessories, just put them together and give them to us. Just put them on pulse. You don't have to send them to stores. Save yourself some money. Sell direct. Just like they did with the Hydra Soldier Army Builder. And yep. we'll get to that. Sorry. I keep no, it's all right. You're I all right. keep skipping ahead. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, man. It's it's yeah. gonna be one of those things to where you're gonna be like crazily excited about stuff, and especially hey, that. uh send Ernest the link. He's gonna send join him. in. Man, I don't want to send him the link. Oh, it's messed no. up. Ernest can't come in here. Well, let's see if he does he have stream yards? Hopefully he does. We're getting in uh our buddy Ernest, who is another um, plastic cannibal member. So we'll get him in here. And yeah, we'll the only thing about this apocalypse, it's like I was probably going to skip most of the Age of Apocalypse wave. But if I get that, I'm going to want it all. <laughs> I'm going to want everything from the Age of Apocalypse storyline that they put out. So it's like, ugh. you know, I, love, I mean, I, love I mean, look around. My shelves are full. I have no room. That is true. I wonder if we can. I don't know if we're going to be able to share screens with, with three people, though. No, you can still share your screen. I hope so. I, I think StreamYards, you can do up to six people. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. But it I love that hard. apocalypse, though. I, I The cape looks good. Yeah, it looks, it looks really good. I just wish... I wish they'd start maybe doing soft good capes. I don't know. Uh, Sometimes I feel like... The, or, or at least I hope it's removable. Let's leave it yeah. at that. Because I feel like some of these uh, attached... Man, why the heck did I do that? I feel like uh, some of the attached capes hinder the figure sometimes. Yeah. 
Then we got uh, Dr. Octopus. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's cool except those glasses. If they, you know, if we get it in hand and the lenses are actually clear, nice. Yeah. But if not, if it looks like he's about to start welding or something, you know, or, uh, that's not working. But uh, hopefully they're removable. Yeah, I hope so too. Ernest, but I mean, dude, this in. this wave, this retro Spider-Man wave is like a dream wave for me. You got street clothes, Peter Parker, and uh, well, a couple more. We'll get to them. Yeah, but I, I just, I mean, even his his shoes. Like if you look at his shoes, it's just like. Oh, yeah, crazy. those are the um, Spider-Punk shoes. They just they look like old man shoes. No, they're they're like sneakers. Don't do you have Spider-Punk? The same ones. They're just there's no paint on them. I guess it gives us the freedom to paint. Yeah, yeah. That'll be super easy to paint. Let me get send Ernest the link again. Same thing. I just don't think he's clicking on it. I don't know what's going on with that. But back to what we're doing. He's got to like create a Streamlabs account if he doesn't oh, have one. Probably. It's super easy. And then that camera, I like the. Uh, can you go back? Yeah, I like that retro camera look, but it's just kind of a black blob. You know, they they should have put some paint on it. Right. Does it even have straps or anything, or is it? Just no, it doesn't look like there's straps either, which kind of sucks. Yeah, but I mean, this is another one of those civilian bodies that you could technically use, you know, for background pictures and stuff like that. Sammy, Sammy said, I kind of like him. He's wearing nursing <laughs> shoes and thick glasses. I think I'm going to make him a custom. I mean, that's <laughs> nursing shoes, <laughs> orthopedic are, shoes, right? <laughs> Velcro, Velcro strap shoes. Well, th that same mold looks cool on uh, Spider Punk and even uh, the MCU Iron Fist has the same ones. So, yeah. it's probably just a little bit of paint. They'll look more like sneakers. Yeah, and I mean, plus, I mean, this image of, you know, even Spider-Man with, or Peter Parker with those types of glasses, I think there was a lot of images in, like, the animated series that he had, like, the weird gloss. It wasn't like he wore well, like that, that, but it was, like, a certain, like, a shot. That head is Amazing Fantasy, whatever. His first appearance look. I mean, that, with the round glasses, that's what he looked like in that book. But did he look like that? <laughs> oh, so crap. dope. It is. Uh, it, it's very nice. I mean, oh, wait, I see Ernest. You got oh, Ernest is labeled as Edge GT. I don't know. Ernest. There he is. Hey, what's up? Hey, everybody. This is Ernest. He is from the Plastic Cannibals. And if you guys join, you can interact with all three of us in Plastic Cannibals. So definitely check that out. Yeah. You guys hear me okay? Yeah, it's like echoey, like you're in a basement. Hang on. Sorry. It's, no, it's you're fine. Me. You're fine. I'm just just messing. I, I bet everyone watching is pro probably already in Plastic Cannibals. Right now, but yeah. I mean, give us some yeah, time. It, you know, if, other people if you're not, definitely join. It's a good group. We keep it small. We heavily vet everyone so we don't get any assholes in there and it's a good group of collectors. We help each other out. We do giveaways, just random giveaways sometimes. Yeah. So, and I mean, heck, you helped me with uh, my and it, with my street Gomez or my agent Gomez issue. Agent, you yeah. know, yeah. So, and Ernest has helped me out a lot. Like we all just sort of help each other out. It's just this big like family of collectors, and nobody's really trying to make a profit off anybody. We're just trying to help each other out to get the figures yeah. that you enjoy. Yeah. But yeah, that's Spider-Man. Brand new mold. Sammy, you're not an asshole. I'll be right back. Oh, geez. <laughs> you just got here. He's got a pee. Okay. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> G. I. Joe. Yeah, G.I. Joe is where it's at. I'm. We'll get to that, but yeah, that looks exciting. But uh, this Spider-Man, I feel too... This is great for Legends, and if it's in that Legends price point... Yeah, it's on the I, retro card, yeah. I still... It's still not going to... It's not going to beat my Mafex. Oh, no, not at all. No. <laughs> that Mafex but, Spidey is so nice. But notice how this comes out a year after that Mafex. Hasbro's like, oof, 
that pizza spidey buck's not cut and no more we gotta up our game he's got ab crunch he's got diaphragm swivel they fix the problem with the hips that the pizza spidey buck had where they'd only go out like like yeah, that, that much uh, you know that one like this one you can already see that one probably does the full van dam splits so and hey private private he says the uh, the new spidey mold is a bit too stocky I can see that. I mean, I think it could be just the angle maybe here, but I can also yeah. see that it's a pretty broad body. And, but um, <clears throat> it's still cool to have the two types of articulation here in the body. Yeah. Oh, the double joint. So you got the ab crunch and then the upper torso. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like the lightning collection. Mm -hmm. So it looks pretty cool. Get back over to where I was supposed to. I got to do this a little bit easier. All right, here we got the packaging for that Hydra Army Builder. Yep. They got there, me for two more and 15 bucks. Is. Dude. 15 bucks a pop. Um, yeah. They opened it up. To, was he had to be a Pulse member to get them? Did you? I don't know. I, think, I don't know. But they're 15 bucks a pop for Army Builders. And this really, uh, I, I feel like this is sort of the future. And, and they could do this with so many different lines uh, from Star Wars to G.I. Joe, because that sort of was my biggest concern. And I'm, no, I'm talking about G.I. Joe's before we even get into it, but just like G.I. Joe is army builders. There's, yeah. you got bats, you got snow serpents, alley vipers, vipers, cobra troopers, all that stuff. If you're paying and who knows if the price is going to be up by then for, if it's going to be 20 bucks, but still I might want just 10. That's still a minimum. What? 200 bucks. Like it'd be yeah. nice to have a price break on it, and even if they only came with two guns, I could yeah. you know bring guns in from something else. But I think this is awesome. I, I think it's an amazing idea. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like 10, 10 of these would be one hundred and fifty. Plus, it's probably a lot of overstock of these yeah. guys from those two packs. So they're like, let's just rip open the two packs and repackage <laughs> them. Yeah. Then we get this nasty thing. I hate it. <laughs> I think I it looks. Hate it. I think it looks great. I just don't need another abomination. It looks. Know? I. It looks like a roided out gremlin. I hate <laughs> it so bad. Well, that's kind of what abomination is supposed to look like. I, this is almost like they're planning them for a movie. Like that's for a video game. Them, it, Man, oh, I think it looks okay. Game? Yeah. It, it looks somewhere between the comic book version and the the old Hulk movie version. Looks like Abomination in the was it that that what was the big Green Goblin guy they had the build a figure it almost seems like it's like a mixture of those. Oh, two. the Ultimate Goblin, Ultimate yeah. Green Goblin. Yeah, I just it's tons of detail and tons of sculpt. I just I don't like it. Sammy says it looks like Killer Croc. That's a good point. <laughs> that would be, yeah, awesome that's a, for sure. Yeah, pop, pop that head off and throw it in the trash and put a Killer Croc head on it. Done. There you go. Just not the one from Suicide Squad because <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually like the the body mold that they use for this. I think the articulation in the upper torso is one of the best so far that I've seen this year, or at least in the last six months. Get those butterflies. Yeah. And I really love this ab crunch when they put them onto the bigger figures because they got so much range of motion and you can get them in those nice iconic poses too. So especially and, that's what they did with the Hulk and stuff like that. Yeah, that Hulk figure was actually really good. It, I was surprised at how much I liked it. And seeing uh, them reuse it is kind of nice. Ryan, you yeah. don't have to hide when you vape. It's okay. <laughs> no, I just had to pick my nose. <laughs> oh. All right, let's see. Then we got this <laughs> nasty monstrosity. I had, the, oh, I had the original one that you'd play. It made that generic halloween laugh from like the halloween stuff you'd pick up at like a dollar store or whatever it just had a, a laugh yeah. and and it was a, it was it was a figure i just don't really care for this guy those are some uh beefy arms i can totally see people swapping out those arms on a wolverine it looks like one might be uh this oh, this yeah. looks like it should be deserved to uh thor maybe he just consumed thor with some sugar and <laughs> thor's bursting out of his body or something yeah, because they got, uh, uh, it looks like Luke Cage or somebody on the other. <laughs> oh, he's just got like knuckle dusters on. He's been the Shonies. <laughs> Look at all the flair. 
Are, is that knuckle dusters or is he just wearing like he a five finger wearing rings. rings? Yeah, yeah. rings. Oh, yeah. wait. Oh, you're talking about this one up here? Yeah. yeah. Like, could be a knuckle duster or just a bunch of rings. Yeah. Uh, but that that one, I was looking at these when you said rings. I went straight to this hand, but yeah. But I mean, it's it's a cool it's it's a cool sculpt. It is the figure. It is the character. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like how they put all this detail and stuff up here, but then they get down to the feet and they're like, let's just make it a solid type <laughs> of plastic. We don't need boots. He's wearing just like a onesie or pantyhose. It's definitely uh, the most toy biz era looking baff I've seen, and you know. Ever probably, yeah. Just the but amount they, of the amount of paint and detail on the face, you know. They just it looks need good. To break yeah. away from their height, like size restrictions. It it sort of sucks with some of these bigger build of figures that need to be bigger. You know, yeah. they're restricted. Or oh, we can only do it this big. Yeah. Then we got this. I'm I'm kind of indifferent to it, but I love the accessories that come with it. Yeah, it's just a reissue of the what is it the the anniversary Iron Man, right? Yeah, the same thing that the War Machine's on. Right. Yeah, I I don't like. I mean, I like the base, but I don't like that it's so spread apart. I wish it was a little bit closer together. <laughs> right. And it's I it's, I think it's two separate pieces because they had a picture of the war, yeah of War Machine, and he just had one of those on his foot, and his other leg was like kind of angled up. But still, like even if these were separate, you still have this giant bellowing out area at the bottom. Yeah. Hey, I'm just glad it's not your those other these. They could have gave us four of these again. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we're getting new stuff in the box. Really. But they need to step up their their accessory game, especially with effects. And they were already doing that with like their Transformers line, um, with yeah. a lot of their little battle things they had cool little accessory or like effects that i'm like how come we aren't getting that in the legends but yeah i i mean it, it looks pretty cool i could totally see people just dropping a couple of leds underneath it and just having it lit up at the bottom and i bet it's gonna look awesome yeah 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 hopefully it's hollow like uh, cannonball's leg so you can put a light in there <laughs> 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 poor cannonball then we got the uh moonwalker uh iron man it looks really cool. I, I pre-ordered it. Just what the hell? Um, I could see this being a serious peg warmer. Um, yeah, I'm worried about the the white plastic. It'll look, I think, cheap in person. I, yeah, it could. I, I don't. I'm, I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, it's cool design. I just don't know anything about it. Is this like the game reverse Iron Man again, or is it? Yeah, just like it's a, yeah. gamer game reverse like space armor. So. I mean, it looks like space armor. They definitely nailed that. Yeah. But his legs almost look very feminine too. I think it's the pose. Yeah. <laughs> like this could be this could be uh you know rescue. That's too thick for rescue. Maybe she got thick for this for being in space. Yeah, she started emotionally eating because Tony Stark died. <laughs> Way to ruin the film for everybody. Yeah. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> um, and then we got Jean Grey, who's uh part of Gem. Yeah, she right. looks good. She looks really good. She looks exactly like she looks in the comic. Yeah. It yeah. looks accurate. It's fine. I, I think it's funny though, looking when they show the packaging of that, and it's like it's sugar. Do you want a Jean Grey to go with that figure? I don't know yeah, why they said it's because <laughs> he takes the... up so much space in the box. Yeah. We got these hands again, so that's good. Yeah. I'm, you know that's not that's like the only hands they give the female figures that's, like those that's the only hands, hands they give Jean Grey, <laughs> and yeah. they give fist hands. Like I don't. Yeah. I mean, ridiculous. just switch it up. Give us give us some like regular relaxed hands or this figure something. is going to be amazing. Yeah, that looks dope. <clears throat> I kind of hope that they fix the clear plastic issue. Like our Ice Man was really gummy. I have a feeling he's going to be gummy too, but he looks really cool. It's the translucent plastic and then when they start doing like the swirly metallic -y type of plastic it gets weird and gummy sort of like what they did with the Doctor Doom mm -hmm. like it looked amazing but you just had to deal with the gumminess we gotta, uh, Sammy's got to go to Target talk to you later Sammy enjoy Target Yeah. Uh, Harry said Gamer versus easy pass for me Sammy if you see a grapple I need it 
I need that grapple, bro. A grapple. Earthrise. Oh. Transformer. Then we get this awesome Wolverine. Yeah, that's cool. Add Whatever. the original. <laughs> you, yeah. How do you not like this Wolverine? I do like it. I, just, I don't know. I will say that expressive hair is awesome. Yeah. That's that's the first Hasbro Wolverine face that I'm actually okay with. Every all the other ones in the past have been garbage. Yeah, good point. <laughs> They're not too good at the unmasked Logan. I don't know why it's so so hard to do that uh the movie verse of Hugh Jackman looks decent at least. Yeah. And I love that they actually give us the normal nub and then we get the nub with the claws. <laughs> yeah, I just hate that it's that swirly silver plastic, man. I wish oh. they would paint it. Man, I hope that Hugh Jackman head will fit on the regular Wolverine buck. Me too. Oh, that'd be sick. X-Man. Yeah. I really Nathan Summers. His arms look massive. Like they're long. Like this Yeah, that elbow really... joint looks it's rough. Oh, that's all. Uh, that's super gappy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. It doesn't do it justice where his body's facing forward, and then they twisted his torso to aim yeah. the other direction. Is, are those the same sleeves that uh, Havoc had? Is that the same arms from Havoc? No. Havoc was. Havoc. Uh, he has forearms. He has flesh arms. Yeah. No, I'm talking about from the two pack. That's the, yeah. It's his yeah. probably his jacket, maybe the upper to the shoulder. That could, no, that's a different jacket. Really? Yeah, hmm. different jacket because this one has like the zipper on it and it sticks out real far, and that one has a totally different mold around the bottom with okay. those lines. Different jacket. Hmm. It might be the upper arms, but not. It's not the from the elbow down. That's new. Hmm. And again, with this, just like Bucky Cap yeah. legs. Why can't yeah. we just sculpt some boots? Yeah, <laughs> like something it's like the blue nylons, right? That's awesome. Wild Child, which is awesome. He's lanky and scrawny and crazy looking. Yeah, but where's Sabretooth? You can't release Wild Child without Sabretooth. It's uh, he's. It's, is that a modified version of the Teen Buck? I, it's hard to tell because it's got the butterfly joints. I don't remember the Teen Buck having them. Did they? It looks like, like the the Pizza Spidey. That's what I think it is. It looks exactly like the Pizza Spidey mold. Yeah, Pizza Spidey with uh, Jackal's feet and Jackal's hands. But you know we're going to see this thing again. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, they... They've kind of hinted that there's more Age of Apocalypse coming, so probably later this year you'll see Sabretooth. Yeah. In, in the meantime, the Toy Biz Sabretooth will go way up in price. This figure looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Even though it's just a simple repaint and a new head sculpt, man. New yeah. legs. Legs, legs. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you the legs. Yeah. That might be... That might be colossus upper legs i don't know i don't know if that would work might be or the uh mr sister upper legs i don't know those <laughs> everybody's going for their figures so like, to, go oh mr sinister's back behind juggernaut i can't see yeah i don't know i mean but yeah I think... it totally looks cool i mean we already know it's a great figure because we already have it and that new What's head up? sculpt looks awesome. I like What's they put up, the Night earrings. Walker. I like they put the earrings in his ears. Yeah, I mean, and they gave him that menacing grin, and they chose a great plastic color for the metallic <laughs> legs. Show yeah. us, Ryan. We don't believe you, says Judd. <laughs> <laughs> then we get Morph. <laughs> Man, I was hoping they are going to pack in a cartoon head. He just... Is it's morph, yeah, but not the morph that everybody wants. Everybody yeah, wants yeah. that uh cartoon morph, yep, but it still looks good, you know. It does the top of the boot, just the fact that it's flat right there looks weird to me, but at the <laughs> castle, <laughs> yeah, looks like they just cut somebody's foot <laughs> off and just like. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I mean, it, he doesn't come with anything though, like no effects. <laughs> I know, no head swaps, but I guess it's fine if you have a million different heads, you can easily. As long as they made his neck peg be the more universal, like size. Is well, that's uh, no, that's not Bucky Cap. That looks like uh, is there is there a butterfly? I can't really tell with that cape. Yeah, I yeah, think so. so. Okay. So maybe maybe that's maybe sunfire. That's, yeah, it's either sunfire. No, it's I don't know. It looks like the other Spider-Man UK body. Uh, it's too oh scrawny. yeah, uh, it it's could, definitely the see, arms. It's, yeah, the arm could be covering. Like this is making it seem like he's not as beefy. So it could be that yeah. Spidey. Then we get this. I. Maybe the game will be cool, but I have no interest in this. Nope. I could see customizers turning him into like a SWAT team. For sure. You know, yeah. You know, just swap out the head, paint him black. Because those swap pads and head, you could just paint the head to be a like a SWAT helmet and stuff. True. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have a feeling majority of the gamer verse will be peg warming until people start playing the game and then they might change their tune. But uh, I definitely am gonna pick this up on clearance. Because it most likely this and the Iron Man will probably hit Clarence, and I definitely want to get it. I'm just sick of like like Nightwalker just said he's like, uh, "Oh Lord, stop making caps." And I mean, it's getting to that <laughs> point where I'm just like, "Come on!" Like, yeah, we got like Spider Mans and Iron Mans and Wolverines, but at least we're getting different ones. But this one just doesn't hit home for me at all. Well, no one has any connection to this version yet because no one's played the game but even being a new version you would think that i'd be like you know that it, the design would grab us at least yeah well. another game verse yeah it's iron man again this one just looks like any other iron man suit so that's why i think it's just gonna peg warm but you yeah. get your beefy beefy raptor claw foot build a figure piece <laughs> <laughs> but no, I have no interest in, in this figure at all. And it's cool. We're getting these same effects. I, I think I actually have that same color effect right next to me. Um, I think we all do. <laughs> Many of them. Now this. Is, yeah, that that's a pickup for me. This is a needed figure. Um, this is I think it's a needed be. figure for everybody. There's a lot of people out there that have been waiting. This is, this is what we should have had in the Captain Marvel movie. Mm. As, <laughs> yeah, as Marvel. Not no, instead, Marvel was like an old white lady, decrepit old lady. Yeah. So, but I don't know. This this looks good. It looks like he's sharing somebody's bracelets. We've seen these bracelets before. Who had them? I don't know. Who? I don't know. I, I've seen I them know. before, though. Then we get this. We already had her. Yeah, she's just a repaint, right? I don't even yeah. know if anything's different. Maybe the uh, boots, but I think everything else everything else is a straight re-release. Yeah, just I mean, I like the original one, but I don't I'm not gonna buy another one. I, I don't know who this is. Me neither. Mach one. That is a reuse of the Beetle body. Beetle and uh that old Ultron. This one. Right, but who's the character? I don't know. Hmm. Anybody in the chat know the character? I, I, I think uh, he was a member of the Defenders at, for a while. I mean, there's a million different Defenders team lineups. Well, Again, that uh, white plastic, it's, it's going to be <laughs> sketched because it's partially yeah. painted, partially white plastic. It ain't going to match. Painted, painted yeah. here. Yep. <laughs> and when they paint the white, it's going to be overly <clears throat> thick like that, too. Yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah. picked up that Miss Marvel to finish Sandman. Nightwalker yeah. said yeah, he exactly. Hey, I didn't I didn't mind that that Miss Marvel and and I didn't uh, even know much about her. I just thought it was sort of cool cool young superhero. We don't got we don't get many of those. Like the kitty superheroes. Yeah. But then we get this dude. The leader. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty solid update. I mean, that's Definitely a video game head because that's not a head he had in the books that I read anyway. But this whole wave is gamerverse, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it is. 
but still doesn't look bad. Oh, it's a decent leader. Then we got yeah, got I want, luchador. I want rage. <laughs> rage. Yeah, yeah that looks, looks dope. He looks mean. Look, look, he's got a hairy chest. I know yeah. that's. <clears throat> is that the Hercules body? I really it think it be. is. I think it's the Hercules upper body at least. But I, I like this figure. I don't even know much about the character, but this whole figure, like top to bottom, looks solid. Yeah. And he looks like he would beat anybody's ass. Like he <laughs> looks so angry. <laughs> or constipated. Right, Judd. Yeah. Like he looks yeah. like he's just a poop. Yeah. Well, don't worry, Judd. You get this giant build a figure piece that is actually his turd. That's why he's making that face. Then we get this. Old Man Hawkeye. Dude, this is super dope. Have you read Old Man Logan? No. It's handstand, my favorite comic book story. Yeah, ever. it's pretty good. I haven't it's caught so up any awesome. of the new stuff. Uh, but, man, this figure, I'm sure uh, Talker Art probably just went crazy when they said no pins. Yeah, he pulled his wiener out as soon as he saw that. Something Talker Art would do. <laughs> I mean, he he makes some good points with certain, uh, you know. Oh, I love Talker Art. He, don't get me wrong. Because other toys that he'll hold up or figures and stuff that just like don't have pins and they're like older figures. And he's like, well, why can't this be yeah. the newer ones? Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But, uh yeah, I, I know nothing about this old man Hawkeye, but if so, you're saying that's a storyline I need to check but, out, I can yeah, do, read Old that. Man Logan. Read, get the trade paperback. It's probably on Amazon for like ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Get it, you'll love it. It's basically Old Man Hawkeye and Old Man Logan on a cross cross country adventure in the spider buggy, and it's awesome. It's, it's like post apocalyptic. It's post-apocalyptic. The villains have won. All the heroes are dead. It's 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 rad. You, you gotta. You, you got me at Spider Buggy. Yeah, 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 there man. Go. And then we get this. This is awesome looking. Yeah, that's a really nice upgrade. Yeah, I'm and surprised that the face doesn't look anything like the previous Old Man Logan. It's they a realized, completely new yeah. sculpt. They realized the other Wolverine head sculpts are trash. <laughs> that's a brand new head. Yep. Brand new coat, arms, hat, little, little baby Hulk. Is that yep. hat going to be removable? Do you think, or is it just going to be sculpted on like the cowboy Wolverine head? Uh, I, ho Pro I hope it's not removable. Well, I, I, I'm betting it's sculpted on or glued on, uh, because otherwise it, you know, it, it would it would look too big to go yeah. over hair. Yeah, this part would have to be a lot bigger. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't have that much hair. I mean, I That's guess. True. That's true. All right, so Ernest, you're going to buy two, and you're going to, like, you know, <laughs> heat it up, pop it off, and then add Find some sculpt out. B to it, you know, sculpt on yeah. the rest of his head. <laughs> I might. The, the face, I, I can't put my finger on it, but uh, he definitely resembles an actor, and I can't think of who it is. Matt Walker did. said, yep, it's glued on. Esos Hunters, what's up? Did I say that right? Esos, Eso, Esos Hunter? Hunters? What's up? They're in the chat. Which one's in the chat, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we get this very disappointing rogue. Yeah, it's not much. Um, I don't know what she's from. I guess it's modern. It's more of a it's, modern. Yeah, color, I think. They okay. did say they gave her the new pegless leg sculpt that they're doing. They're mm -hmm. removing the pegs, which will make Talker Art happy. Still not going to save this figure. There's, you know, the yeah, original going one. Forward, at least, you know, we know they'll hopefully be phasing out the pins. The older one had a zipper that was unzipped, showing a little bit of cleavage, which we're not, I know we're not going to get that anymore. We're, no, we're not going to have done. bust the, yeah. you know, figures. But this face sculpt, looks like it's it's not good it what looks did... like somebody's aunt yeah and... like, it, it looks um like the actress glenn's girl from the walking dead what's her name I... maggie maggie Doesn't i was on a... like her is that her maggie. name yeah that's her yeah. name maggie i was on a stream last night 
uh, this guy Dante said that it looks like Peg Bundy. Nah, <laughs> nah. This looks actually. It sort of has the cheekbone and stuff. It looks like the chick from Transformers. The new one? Oh, oh. You With mean the face. super hot one? Uh, no, she's not her? hot. The one that was in the all Michael Bay stuff because she was all over Michael Bay's dong in the first one. You Megan gotta, Fox? Yeah, Megan Fox. You just said Megan Fox isn't hot? Have you seen pictures of her recently? No, but I've seen okay. pictures of her in the first Transformers movie. That was before she started getting all this weird, like, reconstructive craziness. But, right. yeah. Okay. Well, so they are also saying something about, like, re-sculpting her legs, or the female legs to be thicker, so they, they have a better... They can stand better or something like that? I can't remember yeah. what he said. So they're all going to be thick. But her thighs do look thighs. thick, man. <laughs> it's where she gets her strength from. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one everyone's been waiting for now. Yep. I mean, you you gave it they gave us the white suit storm. And this yep. was the true black suit storm in my eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First you appearance know. and video game. Video, yep. Arcade. And yep. there's a second head that they haven't showed yet. Yeah. Nice. Uh, why did, is, why does Harry know that Megan Fox has webbed toes? He's a he's a foot man. He likes feet. <laughs> the night walk, <laughs> night walker yeah. said Botox Fox. <laughs> oh, she uh she made her face look like an action figure, huh? <laughs> she injected but, that stuff. Is that but, still single jointed elbows on that? I thought they said they were doing double jointed elbows. So there, uh, Shardimus was interviewing Dwight today from Hasbro. And he said the first project he's working on after Toy Fair is sculpting pinless, double-jointed female elbows. It's the only way to do double-jointed, in my opinion. You got because yeah. like you showed me the Luke arms that you put on uh Electro, which looked good, but like for some yeah. of the more daintier figures, I just figured like double jointed elbows just don't work. But that's a that's an awesome storm. Then we get yeah. Nimrod. That's sick, man. That's a long time coming. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, that white plastic, it's going to be white with white paint on certain areas. It's going to look weird. <laughs> Ernest being you think racist so? against plastic. I do. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got against white? Yeah, paint? we're throwing white plastic that looks cheap. You have an issue with white and cheap? <laughs> no, man. I think it looks like, I, I love it. That's that great value, Nimrod. <laughs> and we got this. Whatever. Yeah. It's the... Uh, it's Everybody the was eating on it. Yeah, it's the MCU Smart Hulk body. Yeah. Right? The figure's going to be awesome, but nobody knows anything about the character yet, right? So Right. It's... With the Andy Signor face sculpt. They, they basically <laughs> made it mixed. I mean, that could almost be me as a skate, you know? <laughs> but... Uh, uh, it's like a mixture of like that. What the Savage Hulk that was green mixed with uh, another type of Hulk. They almost like combined them. All they had to do was uh -oh. give this dude long hair. Yeah, maybe get rid of get some more loin clothy or something. I don't know. Just seems like two different figures put together. Like with you got these pants and then you got this like tribal savage look. I don't know. Just looks like it, you got. Shit it, on by a bunch it of It looks like he should be wearing one of those like Hawaiian uh what are they called? Like sarong, right? I think like, so. Like uh like uh in Fast and Furious, was it not no, it was the last one. I don't know. With the rock. We got we got some Remember rectangular they... in the building. Hello, hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Judd said I collect hawks, and this is a huge pass for me. Yep. Me Chad, too. you're gonna buy it. You're gonna buy it and you're gonna love it. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> nestle it and you're gonna no, feed it. I'm gonna buy milk. it and I'm gonna send it to Judd just so he has to have it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll, take yeah, that. He'll, you'll send it to him, but then he'll send it to somebody else, and then somebody else That's will right. keep sending it. It'll just be this figure that floats around the mail. Sisterhood of the traveling hulk. <laughs> then we got this awesome reuse. Yeah, that's great, man. That's I a think. highlight right there. For, There's uh, nothing, nothing wrong with this figure at all. 
You know, um, you were talking about that Green Goblin, the Ultimate Collection Green Goblin. Those flame effects that came with that, I think, will people that will start would be awesome. That up. That'd be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Uh, I used to play Marvel's uh, what Contest of Champions on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I had I got him, and he, he was definitely a uh, beast of a fighter. A lot of people were saying they wish he came with a mustache head sculpt. Oh. <laughs> Right, rectangular. You can keep that Outback Steakhouse Hulk. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but this this Hulk is awesome. It's, I mean, I have the Gray Hulk. I got the two pack Green Hulk. Like the whole body and everything. It's it's. I, I'm okay with them reusing it as long as yeah, they don't keep reusing it. Does cool. that have the butterfly joint in it? It doesn't look like it in that picture. Oh, it does, but it it, does. it it only swivels back, so you don't see it. Oh, anymore. that's right. Yeah, like I get why they did that, so it didn't break the sculpt in his pec there. And then but we get this monstrosity. Yeah, whatever. I hate it. <laughs> Pass. I, I'm so over everyone having the venom symbiote. The the shield with the star, like the star, looks like somebody just took hot <laughs> glue. Sandman said, hold on. Sandman said blooming onion hulk. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> but I, I'm just tired. Like this almost looks like that nasty venom movie figurehead. Like it could be a good head if it wasn't for that Captain America A. You know, you could pop it off and put it on a different venom, but and, I mean it's this... cool they're trying this the symbiote slime effect, but it's just I'm not feeling it. Yeah. I'm I mean, you could it. use that shield, you know, in a shot of Venom versus Captain America. You know, that'd be kind of yeah. cool. Then we got this one actually seems pretty cool. I don't I have no interest. Like, I think it's it's a pretty clean looking. I'm not going to get her, but I mean, I think out of the Venomized ones, I feel like Gwen, Spider Gwen looks the coolest. And more <laughs> well designed, I would have yeah. to say. Probably the same body as the other. Oh, most uh, likely. Spider Gwen, yeah. Different feet and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Nightwalker said it looked like that Captain America had a uh, starfish on his shield. Yeah, it does. <laughs> on, on his chest, too. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> and this one. This looks awful. The feet look weird. They're too big or something. I've seen this, this head, this... the. Like not in a venom. Like it almost looks like some like creature that I've seen in a horror movie. Mm. And it wasn't a good horror movie. It looks like he's wearing oversized slippers. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's it's just everything just feels wrong with this one. Rectangular oh. said, I I hope that venom wave doesn't have a good bath because it's an easy pass. I it won't it, it won't matter because you wait a couple months, it'll release the bath by itself. True. I could see it being a movie Venom bath. Maybe it's the movie Carnage. Or that, yeah. And then we're back. So we are officially at the end of our Marvel Legends. This is just going back. I know some of you are like, hey, we didn't talk about this. Well, we did. You were just late. Well, they did. There's one more. They teased the HasLab Sentinel. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. And I don't know. I don't know. Did they, they say how large? Three feet? No, no, they didn't show anything. They just gave a hint that the next project is HasLab, and it was right. like, hmm? I, yeah, I mean, for for it to scale with six inch though, it's got to be two to two and a half to three feet tall though, right? I'd yeah, probably two feet, probably four times the size of the average figure. And I, what do you guys want to do with uh with with Hasbro next? Do you guys want to jump in the GI Joe? You guys, you guys watching? Want to hear about GI Joe's and our opinions on it? Yeah, yeah, it might be delayed on their end. So I'm sitting here waiting. I'm like watching chat. I'm like, maybe somebody will say yes. I do. I want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. So let me get this queued up here. And oh. let's get it going. We got Duke. Second best looking one that they showed, I think. I love binoculars here. We got wait, physical. that's not snake eyes or <laughs> no, snake what? eyes would be number one. <laughs> oh, okay, 
but we're gonna get into that. Don't worry, Ernest. I didn't. I didn't miss any of the GI Joe stuff. Um, no. So yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. I think. I think they all look pretty good. I had, I think um, in one of our posts, I asked the question: Is this look that they're making the figures based on any recent comic book art or video game or cartoon or anything like that? In the hopes that they are going to have some tie-in material, whether it's a cartoon, an animated series, or a comic book, because I think the style looks good. It's a nice modern interpretation. I just don't like the futuristic weapons. I I, I love the fact that uh, you had posted Ryan about the who was that that was making the other stuff. Uh, Bobby somebody. Oh, the, Bobby uh, Valor. Yeah, action, action yeah. force. Yeah, action force stuff. Yeah, because those weapons like. Uh, those look awesome. So yeah. when it comes to their weapons, we got to realize as kids, we grew up, yeah, they were giving us guns and stuff like that. But in the cartoons, they were shooting lasers. They were shooting lasers. Yeah. So blue and cool. red lasers. Right. It, it's sort of cool that they have like, it's like a, you know, a modernized weapon. Then they made it a little bit futuristic because then it would explain why it shoots lasers. But I also understand that like these GI Joes, you know, we need guns with them. Yeah, but you know we get them. You can go from the action force way of getting guns. You got the uh, Ryan mentioned uh, when we were talking a little bit earlier, like the Marauders. Marauders makes good weapons. Um, but even taking away some of these like accessories, like the figures themselves, I think that, like you said, it's like a good interpretation because you got to realize like there's so much source material now out there from mm -hmm. different ways of the comics have went, different artists, and and they just. And then you got that vintage style that everybody wanted. They're like, it's got to be this way. And it's not. And I hate it. And it looks like crap. And it doesn't look like what we expect. And we all know if it's if this goes well, we're going to get those vintage carded figures. Yep. I, I don't think they look like crap at all. It's just I, it's just the paint pretty much for me. A little too bright. <laughs> Nightwalker says Action Force looks better. Bobby even made masks for his figs. Action Force looks great. Yeah, he went all out on that line. He just, I feel like he should have launched it just quicker. Well, the first time he launched it, it didn't make it. And the second time it did. But, I mean, he was working for Hasbro. And then he got laid off. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he worked for Hasbro. And I think he worked for Jazzwares a little bit after that. What is that? A lot I of people know. are complaining about his little... <laughs> Scar butt chin. Oh, I like that they gave him the scar above the eye because it definitely. I mean, Roblox, when we get to him, I love the tat on his arm. I love mm -hmm. that they gave him ink. You know, they're really coming in and, you know, giving them some personality. Although I don't necessarily like his, like his, his fade. It's like too. Like, oh. <laughs> you know, too millennial. <laughs> yeah, too, it's very millennial. So, that, you know, that gun's not that bad. I think it's just the uh, gold. I don't know. I think part of me is just uh, I remember playing. See, I, I have a fondness for the, the, the cartoon, but I really yeah. love the three three quarter action figures that actually had real weapons. And we, yeah, in my mind, it wasn't shooting lasers. They were shooting. It was real war type of stuff. So, yeah. But uh, again, I, I hear what you're saying, Art, and I do appreciate it. And some of it, it just makes me mad because Snake Eyes comes with legit weapons, and then we get futuristic weapons for everybody else. Kind of His stuff. pistol didn't really look too futuristic, but yeah, this one, it's like they, they just needed like that last like 10% of that gun to be rendered into a, like, come on, right there. Yeah. Or just put a bunch of like you know, customize that into a silencer. Yeah. Wow, that's a tiny picture. I don't know why it's so tiny, but we'll stop here. So, this is the uh, what everybody kept would say that these aren't looking or resembling GI Joes, and a no, lot they def they definitely do. Mm -hmm. Man, it's that gold paint that just kind of. I, I, I don't know. Mr. T walked around with the whole neck full of gold. Right, but not a knee pad and shin guards. Maybe he wanted a little bit of style to it. I mean, yeah, you're carrying okay. this big old gun, you know, and... Like, it, don't get me wrong. I like the figure. It's just, I don't know why they went with gold. 
maybe that's coming off as a different color than it should be. Or if it is officially gold, that it's got to, something's got to tie in. There's got to be a reason why it's gold. I, I think they're basing it off of the vintage toys, yellow color. That's Cause they only have that gold up there on his actual vest. So I think they tied that through because all of them, they're giving him the uh, Duke had the shin guards. Did he have knee pads too? He had shin guards. Oh, and okay. Pads, yeah. So, you know, I get it because that's what updates it to look military, but then also futuristic. So I, I can, I don't know, I can get over the shin guards with the knee pad thing just because if, if I have to deal with the futuristic guns, then shin guards, I guess, is fine. There's that knockoff T2 NECA Terminator that comes with a minigun. That minigun would look dope with this mm-hmm. roadblock. It's pretty cheap, too. Tiny little picture. There we go. Here's a better. Yeah, I mean, I that looks great. Yeah, because you don't you don't see the gold knee pad and shin guards. That looks awesome. I love that. that. Looks so good. The vein work in his arms. Yeah, Dude, everything. Again, the ink that they gave him. I kind of wish they gave us a clearer shot of what that looks like. Is I hope that, that like knife a lion head. I hope it's that, hard to tell. I hope that knife comes out. I think so. That looks yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Just a like a lot the of old... the accessories and stuff like that. They're saying they go on, they fit on the body. Like, and again, oops, why did I just do that? Keep messing this up. All right, so this part, like everybody wants the machine gun, the clip comes out. But if you chop these little parts right here off, mm-hmm. you can give it. It's just not a fifty caliber like everybody wants it to be. Like as right. Roblox should have had a giant fifty cal because. You can't have, I don't understand. You have this beautiful figure like this, ignoring the knees. Okay, Ryan, no, no gold. Mm-hmm. He needs to be carrying, like you said, like a the 50 cal or a minigun, something just ginormous. Yeah. I mean, totally. this style, I I don't know. The style of the way these figures look, it would not surprise me if they also have a animated series in the works. Because these uh-huh. totally look like a cross. They kind of look real, but they definitely, when you get to uh, Scarlet, she has that animated look. Duke kind of has that animated look too, but the rectangular says bare chest under the vest. That would be pretty awesome. Oh uh, cool. yeah. Or or worst case scenario, he just has a tank top. Yeah, uh, I, dude, <laughs> I hope he has like his ink just crosses <laughs> over. <laughs> you take his vest off, he looks like the Rock. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson. Hey, bare chested. They're putting. Painted nipples on action figures now, so let's get some roadblock yeah. nipples on there, huh? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they already got the hairy chest on Rage, you know? Yep. There you go. Oh, we got the tiny little scarlet package. But look at that. That is not appealing accessory-wise. The crossbow and knives? In that package, there's like, oh, you get three knives and a crossbow. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think, did they announce, I mean, they probably didn't say anything yet, but do you suspect that they'll do a build a figure of some kind or maybe? I don't think so. I've even, I think Rectangular said last night that even Marvel Legends might be phasing out build a figures Hmm. and just selling them as big deluxes separately. So we're not getting build a figures with Mighty Morphin or Black Series. And I don't think. We're going to get them with G.I. Joe either. But you know what? They are doing a build a figure with uh, the Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. But that's a small build a figure. So I don't know. But this Scarlet, I think, looks awesome. I do too. Again, they gave her, what is it, Freckles? Yeah. Yeah. I don't recall. Have we gotten any other figures with Freckles? <clears throat> Mary, Mary, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Yeah. But- yeah, I mean, I like that they're actually doing a little bit, and she even has an earring in there. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's just still, I just wish we would have got a little bit more weapons or at least some like blast effects. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, how, how many people pre ordered this bad boy? I'm Two of sure. them. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> yep. wait, did you pre order the first run or the second run? First run. Dude, so my alarm went off at five in the morning because I had to go to work, and 
right when I got up, my phone dinged because I have notifications set for Hasbro Pulse. So they put it up like right then, and I went straight to the website. I was like, holy shit. Bye, 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 bye. And then I texted all you guys. Mm-hmm. Let's go, go, get them, get them. This figure looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. That shot right there. Awesome. So, so good. I mean, there, I, I don't know if anybody can. I, the only thing I could say somebody could complain about, maybe the visor a little bit. Just looks very globby, if it makes sense. Like the paint. Wish they would have did a wash over it a little bit. Make the sculpt for the lines of the visor pop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I'm, I'm, I'm chroming that as soon as, as, soon as I get it. <laughs> well, at least uh, uh, the single card release. But yeah, man, that weapons rack is awesome. <laughs> it's it's a cool weapon rack, and it's sort of like I'm like, why is it that, like they have a weapon rack, and he has his hatchets on there? It's it's weird, but it works. Yeah, but I mean, imagine putting him in that kneeling pose, and then when Storm Shadow comes out, also putting him. Like facing each other with that as a backdrop, dude. Come on, tell me, yeah. toy photographers aren't going to eat that up. Well, you, you know, Storm Shadow is probably going to have one too, though. I hope so. So, I mean, if they keep doing this, but it's like it's crazy though. Like you tease us with Snake Eyes, and there I go again because I get click happy. But you uh, tease us with Snake Eyes and all these accessories, and then it's like, and then you release the other figures, and they have like three accessories, four accessories. Um, I don't understand yeah. why they're cutting back on accessories. It's cool that they can all fit on the figures, which, you know, if you go into like we're, with some of those legends and stuff, they're able to, you know, equip their stuff too. Well, the less stuff they give us, the more profit. That's why. <laughs> True. You know, they got to make their money. Oh, that's so yeah, awesome. That looks so cool. Even the art on the backside. I mean, yeah. Okay. So. All the photos that you showed of Snake Eyes, and he's got, you know, the realistic looking weapons, and those were the first initial photos. Like my mind was set on, oh, that's that's what we're getting, and I think that's why when they first showed the other three that they showed with the futuristic look, I was kind of originally at first off put by it because of that. I was like, oh man, because Snake Eyes just looked so good. In every single one of the promo shots that they had. Yeah. And I think it wasn't, it, I wouldn't even say it's necessarily the three. I think it was like the next one a lot of people saw was Roadblock and that big old futuristic gun that shoots lasers but takes magazines, mm-hmm. which are tiny magazines for the type of gun. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Rectangular but, wants Snake Eyes to have a toe joint. And I, eh. I'm actually, I, I am not a fan of toe joints. Yeah, it's... I mean, I never really use them, even when the figure has them, like Storm Collectibles, and I, I'm just not a fan of them. I mean, Jazzware did it with like their Fortnite figures, and they just—I feel like the, it does break the sculpt. It's not like a natural toe bend. It's not like a thousand toys type of toe yeah. bend. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess if you can hide it in the sculpt and it doesn't get loose and floppy like the old Toy Biz was, that's fine. But I'm good without it. Yeah, the only thing I would sh- I wish they would have done with Snake Eyes weapons rack was put a wash on that the wood part. You don't want it to just look like brown on. plastic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just everything else looks so even. I can handle the all black plastic and everything because it kind of makes it look like black marble or something. But just man, that light tan. But again, that's an easy fix for for customizers, right? So. All right, let's go into uh, this one's going to be a fun one. I think uh, Ernest and I and a lot of people are pretty stoked about this. So Ghostbusters. A lot of collectors that have the vintage are very angry about this section right (laughs) here. I don't give a shit. I don't collect for value. Yeah. I am going to get every single one of these, keep them on card and put them on the wall because they look amazing. They do. I'm getting two. Oh, you're going to do one open one, one to hang. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, the, so, the card and stuff. Up, Ernest. <laughs> the, the, well, if you look at the card art, it, it just it's awesome. Well, and if collectors are getting pissed off about this, you know it's just a matter of time that they're going to do the exact same thing with GI Joe. They're going to re-release uh, the originals on a vintage card. They're going to repop those. And honestly, that's a I, really good point. Like I don't care. They're doing that with Star Wars. I hope they do. Yeah, (laughs) I do too. I mean, just because as a kid, like I had them and I destroyed them and melted them once I got old enough and didn't care about toys and whatever. I still have some of the, you know, you know, originals that I ended up. You know, it's yeah. Everybody has some of these maybe laying around from their childhood. They're missing their backpacks. They're missing their beams. They're missing the ghosts. Now we have a chance to get them back and complete yeah. them. And I think they look great. Yeah, I think they look awesome. And plus all the ones that you see, all the the, the plastic colors have faded. And they just they, they have brown spots. And like you said, even if you can find a proton pack, the the stream is all broken or it's gone. Or, yep. you know, it's, yeah. I have an Egon that's discolored a little bit. So that's pretty it. much exactly what they looked like back in the day on card and everything. Oh yeah. Right on. Yep. And awesome. I had it all set up and it wants to be stupid. All right. And there we go. Mm. Mm. She is Who's this? Of, she's one of the sexiest women that ever <coughs> can act. Sigourney? <laughs> no, she's not. She oh, that's not Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Sigourney, it's Sigourney yeah. Weaver. Okay. Yeah. You don't know. She was in the Ghostbuster movies. I've never seen them. Oh. What? <laughs> I've never seen any Ghostbuster movie. What? Oh. I know. Trust me. I know. I get that all the what? time from everyone. <laughs> One right, of these days. The chat, if you need me to kick Ryan out of this, uh, <laughs> this stream, please comment to kick him. Oh, man. Like it's 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 uh yeah that's Sigourney Weaver is. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, Judd said uh, Ryan will send us all our weapons for our Joes. You know he's getting a boatload with those Action Force figures. <laughs> I'm sending you. Farce. <laughs> only thing I'm sending him is an Outback Steakhouse Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the gift card to Outback. <laughs> yeah, I I know, man. I'm missing out on Ghostbusters. Okay, I got it. I got to finally watch it. The first two. You got to watch the first two. What about the one with the, no, the SNL no, cast? No. Oh, you hate women? No. Okay. Got it. Misogynist. No, that, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. It just wasn't a good film. Okay. It wasn't a good film. That's it. The story was was awful and it made no sense. And it was bad. Right. It was bad. I, mean, I, mean, I love Bill Murray too. So it's weird that I've never seen it. I get it. Yeah, I think they look great. I think the scale of these figures, the fact that they scale with everything else Hasbro is doing, for the most part, is is awesome. Um, what was it? Is it Mattel? Who did the Mattel. the really cheap ones from like a few years ago? I have that set. I'm happy. With <laughs> oh that set. man! Hey, Jud, Jud just <laughs> yeah, banned they... me. Jud just banned me from Plastic Cannibals until I watched the Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> but. Ernest, I'm not. I'm not going to get an, a single one of these. What? Not at all. You what? just want the vintage, huh? I, I'm. I'm. I'm good with uh, those metal ones and the diamond select ones. Yeah. Granted, these look great. These do look great, and the paints are going to be solid. I hope. Um, <laughs> it, it looks great in the picture. Uh, diamond did them. have the issues with the, you know, some of the paints and stuff. But I just, I'm going to have. It won't fit in with my Ghostbusters, unfortunately. Dude, I you're gonna see them in in real life. Shut your and mouth. You're gonna shut your change mouth. Change your story, I, or you're gonna see me post pictures of them, and then you're definitely gonna be changing your story. But but I already have all the other like I have the movie ones from Diamond Select, and they're gonna go with the real Ghostbuster ones I got from Diamond Select. I don't. Man, I, I said the same thing with the Ninja Turtles that I've bought. Every, like every line for every company and i said that i didn't want the ninja turtle movie figures <laughs> either from NECA, and now i have all four turtles and i got shredder and i got splinter and i got a foot soldier and i'm needing Get, that Casey jones? dude it's i'm getting the Casey re- jones and raf i got yeah, it. of course everybody's gonna get that raf it's just that it's easy money for him 
I mean, it's it's also <clears throat> that iconic Casey Jones versus Raphael type of scenario. Um, even the Casey Jones from well, we're we're talking about stuff. This is Hasbro. We're not talking about NECA yet. <laughs> the uh, okay, so like everything, like their likenesses are actually really good, and the fact that Hasbro is doing. Bill, okay, so Vankman is the only one that I'm kind of like. Eh, it it's... looks like they use the same mold that Mattel had. I like. Kid you not? Like, if I could get really? over to where the, it almost looks like the same face. Mm. I'll, I'll take a picture later and send it to you guys. But I mean, it almost looks like the same. Um, and the Mattel ones weren't bad. They just had the weird like hips yeah. and stuff. Um, when the these... license when the license changes hands, do they get the molds? I think they do. Because I know, like Hasbro got all of Kenner's old molds, and well, they had Hasbro... to because they made the new ones, right? But and the... and then even when they bought, um, when they got the Marvel license, some of those first figures they put out were Toy Biz molds, so they got those too. So they might have gotten Mattel molds for these heads. Might have, but I mean, I do like their Proton streams; they look pretty good. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it for like Ghostbusters. I mean, they just, you know, the reissue of the retro set, and then you got the the new set. No, there's they have that uh, that third line that's sort of like a, a mix between the two. So, uh, oh, the reaction ones. Those uh, are they? Rea no, I thought Mattel also has a line because they have the Ecto one that is like a modern take, but it looks like a. It's literally like they took the movie verse and mixed it with. The cartoon, you know, the real ghost, yeah, and yeah, they're they're, they're almost, more animated. Yeah, they more fit in with this <laughs> set of figures. Yeah, but they but they look like caricatures of the real man. Ryan, you uh, want to bring that up? Bring what up? The uh, Ghostbusters, the cartoonier ones. Oh, the, like the old '90s ones? No, no the, like the other the set. There, just, there's yeah. three sets that they advertise. There's one that had the Ecto one, and they're more cartoony looking. And then they have the movie version. No, Foosh, and those... Foosh definitely had, I think, had them. Uh, maybe they, they didn't. Because they, uh, they're they like the movie verse characters, and they come with little, it's it's just like the real ghost versus how they have a little ghost thing. So uh, am I sharing? Uh, I'm not sharing it yet, not until you get it up. Okay, so you can see my screen then? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, right. But yeah, that's I know what you're talking about, Ernest. That okay, was, that was my fault. So here's e Egon, right? Well, that's the no, no, those aren't the ones. That's not the one. No. All right, let me just go to the foosh. I think yeah, I already got their page open. The foosh. Shout out to the foosh. Robo, don't watch me. I don't blame him. Right. It's like the unboxing. I wouldn't want to watch these did. three clowns right now stumble <laughs> their way through a live stream. Let's see here. Uh, Ghostbusters plasma series. That's the six inch one, right? Yeah, that's the six inch. Uh, Do I need to find this? No, I'm just loading. It's farther down. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. You, yeah, go find it. <coughs> no, they don't have it. Oh, maybe that's it. But I think we have it in our. I think Ernest posted. I got it. it. I got it up on my screen. All right. Oh, are you sharing it? Uh, you must share screen. Okay. Young Padawan. Oh, can you guys see this? Not yet. No. Do you have uh, two monitors or one? Uh, one. Okay. Yeah. There should be a button at the bottom that says share screen. Yeah, I got it. Let's see okay. here. Sorry, guys. Next time we go yeah. live, it'll be a little bit smoother. But Okay, there we go. Maybe. Let's see if it's working. There it is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yeah, see this okay? Yeah, you can put it full screen or go to like uh Oh, so they're doing like a five POA line too. 
Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a again, it looks like a cross between the movie and the real Ghostbuster line. So this Ecto One looks pretty dope. And a oh, little little mini mini Hellhound. Man, I really hope they do an Ecto One in the Plasma series. I'll buy that. That. Oh cool. yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this one will definitely have some gimmicks to it. I think I saw something where on the other side of this, it like pops out and there's like a a chair that pops out. I think that's based on the new movie that's coming out. But it's it's all good though. I mean, this is this will definitely fit with the other uh, figures for sure. Yeah, because I I think with the real Ghostbuster line, they're definitely redoing the figures, but I, I don't think they're gonna do the ecto one so getting this in that style i think is going to be perfect for those figures and it looks like it wouldn't surprise me if it has actual lights and sounds too uh, that would be that'd be cool. great all right all right role play here. stuff here i can remove it out of there oh you already did it yourself yeah. all right so we hey, go not to not to go too far back because we already talked about joe's but it's pretty much confirmed Jazzwares is not doing three and three quarter Joes. Oh, really? Yeah, their license I think is just for role play stuff. So then, are we if just anything. not getting three, three and three quarters? Maybe from Hasbro. Um, Bobby Valla keeps saying Hasbro's not doing three and three quarter Joes. I think they're investing all of their time and money into the new six inch line, but it wouldn't. Yeah. Again, it, any three and three quarter that comes from Hasbro will be them repopping the vintage stuff so laser pants you want to get up the power ranger stuff yeah let's see here. get so serious it gets all like let me get all uh well you just put me on the spot <laughs> you Jeez. do that you bring up that fucking power ranger stuff right i love now. when you talk dirty hold on so weird that I got this the, my microphone just right here but I got my yeah. my camera is actually on my Cintiq so I'm like using my Cintiq as a monitor right now I take back that shout out to the foosh why because he doesn't have Power Rangers on there I'm not seeing Power Rangers on here what no, oh, let me I'll just Google it that's because he doesn't know any doesn't he say does he watch he, he got out of Power Rangers so He's not a big Power Rangers person. Yeah, but the Foosh is a team. Let's see. Oh, you're talking about on the Foosh. Yeah, I was on their website. Lightning Collection. (laughs) Nightwalk is like Power Rangers stuff. 2020. All right, let's see what we got here. Sammy, did you find anything over at Target? Anything good? All right. Grapple for Ryan. Are you ready? (laughs) Sammy's back. Yeah, where's my grapple? Come on. Come on, brother. All right. You ready? You can, am I screen sharing? There you are go. now. So, so get hide, Ranger. Hide Lock you. Yeah, it looks good. The face sculpt is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh it's, man, I was dying when I saw <laughs> that. I was like, what is this? It seems like they're having issues with like the human faces. So with, this is uh, cool. <clears throat> this uh Ranger Slayer. So I've never read this storyline, but what a year or two ago. Jason David Frank did a like a live action trailer for the Shattered Grid, yeah, where he's you know Lord Draken and all that, and th- this is part of that story. So I went on Amazon and I picked it up. I want to read it. I heard it's really good. Yeah, I um shout out to the comic storian, but I've I love their stuff because he yeah. basically tells you the whole story and does a play by play. Uh, and so I caught up on the shattered grid from that and was like completely blown away with the storyline. I'm like, Oh, I really want to go back and actually pick this up and read it. So, yeah, he did the, um, power Rangers and teenage mutant Ninja turtles team up. Oh, really? And that looks really good too. Yeah. I want to check that out. Check that out. So yeah, pink Ranger or Ranger Slayer. I think it looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I pre-ordered that one. This one time force red Ranger. I don't know anything about Time Force. It was a pass for me. I mean, all these figures are good. You know, yeah. they give them great articulation. They can move. Um, you know, I mean, if you don't want to spend nearly a hundred dollars on SH Figuarts, Lightning Collection is where it's at. Mm-hmm. And then the 
Gold Ranger, but he's got a different head. That's not Jason, right? Jason, yeah, the Red no, Ranger. It should be mm -hmm. Jason. Yeah, no, this uh, is I like think a he different. Passed it on. Yeah, yeah, he passed it on. So it's that, this new kid. This all happened right when I stopped watching because I was like 13 when the show started, and I think I watched the first season or two. And when this when this Gold Ranger stuff started, it's kind of when I grew out of it. Just means that you're going to end up having to. Uh, you can put the probably the other Jason head on it anyway if you really oh, yeah. want it to be. Jason, yeah, but yeah, and I, um, I have that one because it came in the Comic Con two pack. And so yeah, that's what they revealed for Power Rangers. Oh, and then the Rita Repulsa, right? Oh yeah, that two pack. The, the, the Lord Zed that yeah they already had, and they showed that Dragon Dagger, which the Dragon Dagger looks pretty cool. Yeah, I already have a Dragon Dagger. Do you? Yeah, but does it actually play music and light up? Yeah, well, it doesn't light up, but it plays music, and it plays the whole Mighty Morphin Power Ranger theme. Yeah, but does music. it also Are... have the stand, the display stand? I don't need a stand because I use it in my everyday work in life. It is a <laughs> he part just, of he me. just wears it on his hip wherever I he goes. Do, I do. You don't with that yeah. much power and you don't need because I mean that's that's you, that's the keys to your Dragon Zord, man. You don't just leave it on a stand, right? Fair enough. Uh, if you pre-order the Yellow Ranger, that should be shipping next week. Pre-orders. Oh, that's awesome. Didn't, but I do need to get a hold of her. Yeah. Man, I hope that they release the the non-armored Black Ranger soon. Here it is. Look at that freaking face, dude. Like, what yeah, is that? He's like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> my, my name's Billy. <laughs> I mean, for one, it doesn't look like him. I'll two, say, do you have the actual actor? What about him? Uh, do we have? A, can we do a side by side? Because that just oh, yeah. is ridiculous. Uh, I gotta Google it. Hold on. <laughs> blue, blue eyes of a Power Ranger. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's gonna pop up, right? So here's him now, all old. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I mean, I guess no, no, not at all. <laughs> he, they, gave, they gave him like super pudgy cheeks. Yeah, he's got no neck. Maybe and it's just has, the angle of the photo. But, and he has no oh. jaw, like his jawline. They messed that up too. The no yeah. neck thing is a problem with the whole line. I swear, a, a lot of them look like that. Hmm. They need to like make the it, neck peg longer. They weren't meant to take the helmets off. Pretty much. Oh, I mean, I'll never display them with their helmets off anyway. So yeah, <laughs> oh, man, that is that is funny, man. I'm, I'm skipping Star Wars today. We're skipping over Star Wars. Well, they didn't show much. Well, the I mean, black I got black I got series some speeder. Of it. I mean, yeah. I'll show what I have. So uh, get that out of there, Ryan. I don't want to see your screen anymore. Blah. Okay. And. Come on, go back. Oh, Art G's here. What's up, Art G? Art. Right, so we got, Looks we got, like the kid from the Magic School Bus. <laughs> we got, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know the kids from the Magic School Bus were actually the uh, Planeteers from Captain Planet, right? <laughs> it's real. You know, that's no something I'm surprised no one's done no, yet is a modern right. Captain Planet line. Because nobody cares about the planet. Hey. <laughs> I, we're the, we're the not, planeteers. I'm not saying I don't care about the planet <laughs> because you know Captain Planet, he's my he hero. One too. You know, takes pollution down to zero. <laughs> but uh, but I do love I, I do enjoy uh, Captain Planet. I just don't think anybody would appreciate it. Well, Captain Planet wouldn't appreciate using non biodegradable plastics <laughs> as <laughs> his weakness in an action figure. In that how form. about if they made the Don Cheadle? Oh, Captain that would Planet. be hysterical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be all over that one. So so Hasbro's doing their vintage card stuff again. And we got Lando. Um we got this thing majig. Yeah. I think it I think it's something. I'm getting that, but not I am until it's under a hundred. Yep, I agree. It, it comes with Dak. Yeah. It comes with the second pilot that gets crushed. So it looks great. I mean yeah. I with everybody clamoring that they want scaled vehicles for that six-inch figure, not only for GI Joe but for all the lines, you know, 
if they put one out, I hope people buy it. <laughs> Star Wars um, hasn't really been disappointing when it comes to their vehicles. I mean, I do have the land speeder. I got Ray's speeder. I got the Dewback, which is not really a vehicle. But still, you know, it's those bigger types of releases, and they, they're pretty awesome, especially mm-hmm. with, like, the land speeder and what it can do. And, like, Ray speeder, even though I got it on crazy clearance, uh, there's a lot of extra details that they put into these vehicles and I think just get overlooked. I got them all at full price except for the TIE Fighter. I think I picked that up for about $40. I wanted the TIE Fighter, wow. but I, I don't know where I would put it. That thing I is, is ginormous. That's why it's hanging above my head from the ceiling. <laughs> there was no shelf space for it at all. Then we got this little shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I want it, and I think it looks really good, but $10 cool. for an accessory is yeah. kind of sucks. I, I'm waiting. I'm holding out because they're going to re-release it with the little With the egg. pram. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then I, when that comes out and I buy it, Season two will come out. He's going to look completely different and have something else. And then I'm going to have to get that too. So, See, but I want an alternate head of him eating that frog. <laughs> just take a Dremel tool. Like, and it's. Oh, Judd wanted to see the horrible Rita. So I just saw that, man. <laughs> oh, I forgot we were looking for that. We got sidetracked. Right. <laughs> With the Billy. <laughs> And then uh, we got we got some Hoth soldier action. I think so that one. it comes with a secondary face, right? Yes, secondary face. One with a beard, one without. Yeah, and it's stored in his backpack. Oh, so really? There's a, there's a door in the backpack, and it has the separate face sculpt. That's funny. Yeah. And we got this, Luke. That looks good, man. I, I mean, I wish, mm-hmm. of course, they would have updated the articulation, but I mean, we can expect they're going to reuse that body. But I think, man, that's way better head sculpt yeah. than the last one. Yep. <clears throat> so I pre ordered that one. That was an instant pre order. Yep. Me too. There's very few figures I buy at full price. And yeah, so th- that was I mean, one of them for sure. Yeah. You give this me is good, awesome. You give me a good Luke Skywalker. I'm all in. The retro collection of Star Wars. So is, is this. Was this game out before? Is that an actual vintage game? Or yeah, it, it is. And okay. I I love the fact that they're giving. I hope they do more than just within a board game. <laughs> yeah. I hope they start giving us figures in a part of the the retro pack that's like that. Yeah, I got New that Skull. Death Star one, that Death Star game mm-hmm. for like seven fifty at Target, and mm-hmm. I played it with my kid. It was it's not bad. They got a little dirt, dirty, dirty R two D two. They man, they need to they need to retire that sculpt and get it to the right scale. I I agree, but you know they're never going to, at least not yeah. right now. That's it for Star Wars. Yeah, they didn't show much. I think I'm done with Hasbro for right now. All right. I'm tired of talking about Hasbro. They 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 release so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Before we move on, what do you guys actually think of their keynote presentation? Like, I know they were trying to get people hyped in the audience. So, so they, they're always like that, right? So you got these guys like Ryan Ting, Dwight Shoots. I think they're they're desk guys. You know, they're not live speakers really. So it always comes across a little awkward. However, what was really funny was when they called out uh, Rectangular. That was hilarious. Well, yeah. He's, I like, mean, public, it, he's like public enemy number one because all this stuff was leaked. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, and they pretty much admitted it from the stage. They're like, okay, we're going to show you guys some stuff. Can you pretend like you haven't seen yeah. it? Can you act yeah. surprised? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you humor us? Yeah. I mean. Dwight Stall. There it is. They also they also just need to have people. I mean, if you're going to present it, have somebody that actually like uh, sort of amped up about it. Dude, the dude that came out in the Power Ranger outfit, it was oh, so cringe. Oh yeah, I was like, bro, it's this like ain't it. Bad trying to were, be. Were you guys reading the the comments at that time? I was. Yeah, you. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I was at work. I couldn't really get into the oh, whole dude. comment and stuff. I didn't see any of them, but you told me they were funny. Oh, okay. So, like the chat, they were just 
when it, when it first started, it was fine. People were getting kind of excited, but as soon as they went to the first thing, um, Power Rangers, they're like, skip. <laughs> this is not what we want. We want <laughs> show us Marvel Legends, show us Star Wars, show us all this other stuff. And just from there, it, everybody, and then they just lit everybody up as they were trying to crack, you know, they were trying to get the audience into it, but yeah, that's not the right type of audience that's going to be super hyped. And well, so they, the chat they, was just lighting them up. They put Nerf before Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe. It's, I mean, I'm surprised there wasn't booing, you know, but it was, <laughs> but it was Nerf Fortnite and Nerf, Nerf Halo. Yeah. Oh. We have Nerf Fortnite guns that'll be on deep discount at Walmart for the next 20 years. But even like the, the problem was, again, this is not like an Apple keynote. Like the right. people there are, they're just, they're buyers, right? Most of them yeah. are buyers for places. They're, they're not nerds necessarily. So well, I mean, you get your, when Marvel, uh, yeah, but you, when, go ahead. and I was going to say like when they did the Marvel panel, there were some cheers, but again, it's maybe like five, six people cheering. <laughs> it was, yeah. The, U the YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, could, you could probably like pick out talker art and Shardimus prime. Was Tucker you know? there? Yeah, he was there. Jeez. See, I need to get to that level. I want some invites to that stuff. When I went to Cel Star Wars Celebration last year, I went to the Hasbro panel, and it was the same way. Mm. You know, it, it was like, it was like the you know the guys on stage were like waiting for applause, mm -hmm. and then the audience kind of caught on. Oh, is this where we clap? Okay, you know. <laughs> Jeez. I I, I kind of feel bad for him. I do too. Uh, again, I'm like, oh, the. I don't know. I know they were trying to make an event out of it, but it was rough. So we're going into Mezco. All right. They didn't show a lot of new stuff except uh, for handful. these cartoon Gomez figures. Can you make little... that bigger? No. You can't right-click and zoom in? Nope. Okay. That, that, that makes more... Uh... That's cool. Yeah, that's just awful. But yeah, so it's small. But it's it's a five point, you know. So th Gomez. those that cartoon style is a five point then, right? Yeah, it's gonna be just like the one in the background. Uh, okay, just, it comes with like a lot more accessories. It looks like. Is yeah. it? That's a different scale, isn't it? Isn't it bigger? It looks bigger, and it looks it's way more stylized. Maybe four inches, four or five, close to five, maybe. Yeah, because it doesn't look like a you know one of those reaction like the yeah. other one does in the background. I guess they're maybe just doing a cartoony version. What does yeah. the sign say? I can't read that. It, it says just five says point. Agent Gomez five points. Oh, okay. So it, it they might have just revamped this style, mm -hmm. you know, to yeah. what they would want their five points to be. Instead of this it looks looking dope. like a reaction, it does look cool. He's got, the, uh, he's got a hoverboard. He has a hoverboard. Yeah. He has a pistol, grenade. Um, he has the boombox, the sword, and then he has the sniper rifle. So he has a good amount of accessories. Then we get into Alien. Meh. I think it looks good. It looks good. I just it looks good. I got so many NECA aliens, though. I I don't need that. See, that's that's another thing too. It's like NECA, I feel like owns the whole like alien yeah, but predator world. This is but, this but, is one of those that's just like the uh, what's it called? Um, the the, the new eighty nine Batman. It's got like that seamless body. It looks like. Oh, it, it does. It, oh, well, that's a different story then. It doesn't have like Damn. the exposed joints, you know, besides okay. the ankles and wrists. But I think it looks. I think it looks awesome. Um, and that tail is probably going to be wire. I hope wire posable. So should be. I don't. I mean, that's really cool. But I don't. I still don't think it's enough to pull me in. This is one I know they already announced a while ago, but I just actually seeing it with the okay. So and they. Stuff. They showed him off the first time two, they showed two him. Two years what, ago? It was Comic-Con, I think, 2018. Yeah. He comes out spring 2021. Yeah. So we've been seeing him. By the time we get him, it'll be three years. It's like. Well, and then, well yeah, it makes me nervous that, okay, mm -hmm. they've up like upgraded their bodies. Mm -hmm. So I hope he's still not the same figure that they showed him. As you know, with the same articulation or whatever from well, I doubt three years ever, ago. Yeah, I doubt he ever went into production. I hope I get my John Wick soon. They pushed him back to June. He was supposed to come out in November. Now he's now it's June. 
thought it was March. Now it's all the way to June. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, dude, Mezco and Mafex, you're, you're never in a long time. Ever. <clears throat> Everything gets pushed back. Do you know what the why they pushed that one in particular back so many times? Which one? Uh, held the release on the Ghost Rider one. Is it because of the bike? I don't know. Hmm. They don't. They don't tell the fans anything. <laughs> you that know? sucks. Yeah, they just announce stuff. They might tell D Amazing <clears throat> though. Yeah, they'll tell him when he's getting it a month before everyone else. Now, I added this picture into the mix. Because it sort of it grinds my gears. It sort Why? of pisses me off. So I love this press pass. Like press set up. They give this away to the swag the, bag. The, yeah. The swag yeah. bag. It's awesome. Look at the stuff. They even got a decoder ring, which yeah. was, a, it was like it's amazing. But what pisses me off is they're giving it to unappreciative people that put them straight on the freaking eBay. And that they don't care. Like yeah. it's like you got these things up on on eBay for a thousand dollars and stuff like that, and it's like someone had it listed for two thousand, and guys in the Gomez group were contacted by people offering them two thousand. Well, that they were, yeah, they were getting offered two thousand before this was officially like revealed, right? Right. But there, and, there was someone did list one for two thousand. I doubt it sold for that, but. But it's just it's just it's getting ridiculous. Why a company would give away these to people they are going they're going to put on <coughs> eBay when you got people that yeah. would appreciate it? Like save it for the YouTubers, save it for the people that actually like your product. You know, I, I don't care either way because this is one that's I can pass on. You know what? What I don't like is when they give an awesome looking Gomez Ninja as an asian con exclusive that <laughs> yeah. sucks yeah the shadow gomez is yeah, yeah that's i want because... that shadow i mean i i put this thing together oh that's awesome that looks really good yeah i got the it's a pscc body and uh cloth good ninja outfit i got from someone in the gomez group and then i just you... put the i put the stealth head on him then we got the <laughs> looks like maybe some future skull boys coming in maybe see that's... They, That's they the do. body of yeah. uh, what's his Diabolic. name? Yeah. Diabolic. <clears throat> so la at Comic Con last year, they took the Shadow Gomez and put uh, oh, and put him on the ninja bodies. What, yeah, with a blue skull, and like this is just Daredevil, right? Yeah. MCU Daredevil painted green. So I don't know if uh, yeah, I don't know if this is stuff we'll ever see. It's probably just for their displays. I, I saw it and they had a bunch of them, so I was like, maybe they're making it, maybe not. You know, Hydra army builder guy. Since I love their displays. Since, since yeah. their Daredevil um, didn't sell or did sell, and then people didn't want it afterwards because they realized it was so bad. So it looks good. I, I, the Morbius looks good, but um, not really anything I care too much about. I won't be buying it. You're gonna buy it because you want to pull this part down further. Yeah. Just okay. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Just want to see, <laughs> see, see that undead dong. Yeah. Um, but but no, I I think it looks great. I think it looks I just, awesome. I just I these weird spandexy materials. I just feel like it's gonna it's gonna give. Oh, Art gonna Art said that uh, Nark got one. He got the gold Gomez. Yeah, he did. And you know. Awesome. I already told him I, I, I hated him on his uh, Instagram about it, but <laughs> that's just me because I was jealous, but I mean, he deserves it. He appreciates oh. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I'm glad somebody that got it appreciates it. So. Yeah. Art. Yeah. Black Bolt and um, the dog. What's his name? Oh, uh, garbage and garbage. Yeah. Yeah. That got pushed back too. Uh, I didn't care about the inhumans. Lockjaw. Uh, yeah, Lockjaw. Lockjaw. That's right. Yeah. How you guys feel about this guy, little ape man? Looks good. I've never really watched Planet of the, the Apes original. or the movie. Yeah, I've never seen the old movies, so that's sorry anybody watching. I I really don't know anything about Planet of the Apes. I just know a guy landed and knows Planet Full Apes. Wait, so do you get banned from Plastic Cannibals for never seeing Planet of the Apes? <laughs> Because I got banned for Ghostbusters. Because so. Ghostbusters, <laughs> I think, is at a different level than Planet of the Apes. Is it? I don't know. I think so. Okay. I've never seen either one, so I don't know. 
And then we got Predator, which it's Predator. I, his, I, head, I, his head, it, it looks like a bobblehead almost. It's, it's so huge. Big. Yeah. But I also feel like when I'm looking at this, it's just like I've seen Predators already. And that's yeah. been done by NECA. And NECA has nailed Predators. I mean, granted, I have one that's fallen apart and I'll never buy. Yeah, I, I don't either. But, but besides me complaining about that. But uh, yeah, NECA runs the Predator <laughs> show, I feel. Yeah, that is a weird pose for the I predator. I bought that female predator, <laughs> the human woman predator. That thing broke. It was all messed up. If you're a NECA collector, you, yeah. Machiko? Was that her name? Yeah, yeah. Machiko, I, yeah. It was the one I wanted the most. And <laughs> Hey, Judd, just banned the- you, Art. You're out. Until you watch Planet of the Apes. <laughs> <laughs> Judd, don't make me start throwing out movies that I know you haven't seen, and we could ban you for that. And then we got there's those five point pink skull. Yeah, they look awesome. They're cool. So they're they're neat. I wouldn't mind some. Maybe go that go with those Scooby Doo figures and yeah. uh, the the ghost figures and stuff. Yeah, for sure. The Toonie Terrors from Nick. Yeah, yeah. too. Probably another reason why they want went with these because those Toonie Terrors were doing so well for Funko, or was yeah. it Funko or NECA that made no, those? NECA. NECA. Toonie Terrors and NECA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got a uh, a stone suit seat for this dude. Yeah, and if, I, I don't know what this is. It's he's, a Gomez villain. It, it they say he's uh, a, a member of the Rumble Society. So I'm in. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna check. That's it out. awesome. It, yeah. it looks like some crazy like mixture of the lava dude from Space Ghost mixed with the enemy of uh, Dead Space or the main character of Dead Space. If you ever played that game, but. I think I think it's going to be cool. I'm curious to see what he comes with. Besides, I mean, he has all these like little like piranha, like robotic piranha fish. The uh, aqua aqua cons or uh, Auticons Aut- 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 or something like that. Oh, somebody said the Eternals. Yeah. Um, but I think it looks yeah. cool. I think it'll yeah. be neat, and I think that they you can tell they have fun with these one off characters, these characters that they just created out of nowhere that's not licensed, and this is also a way that they can make money without having to pay for different licenses. Yeah, man. Original IP. That's it's yep. awesome. I, ho- I hope they uh, continue with the comic books. I want more. I want more comics. And I want those, uh, those ninjas to. Yeah. To, to they they got to give us. I mean, I don't, I don't even care about the Gomez head so much. Give us those blue skull ninja bodies. That'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, and shout out for, to toy the is for these couple images. I ganked from them. But uh, Rumble Society, that's his like stand. It's all gold and stuff. Looks pretty cool. That's awesome. Dope. This is not <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> He's just like, uh, I'm not into it. <laughs> this is trash. That's, yeah, yeah that's. Mm. I don't, they were mixing too many. I, I, is this the Bluto body? Is he on the Bluto body? I don't know. I kind of feel like it's on the dark side body. It's just like I feel like he's too stubby yeah. and stocky. Yeah, that could be the dark side body. Um, but the the shoulder pads just the shoulder pads and the, the baggy pants, I I'm not feeling it. And the weird color for the glove. It's just, I don't know. I don't understand companies can't get gold. Yeah. Uh, well the the shoulder pads look good. The the gauntlet, I don't know if it's supposed to look like it's glowing, but it does not <laughs> right and we got uh one more s- uh, company to go through and i know we aren't doing everything but i mean we're already at like two hours so you guys and I'm, t- I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing us talk and ramble about figures that you've seen flooding your facebooks and everything yeah so, that call definitely needed more more wash on it for sure <laughs> night walker said job of the thanos <laughs> <laughs> Now this is going to be a uh, more black sort of wash. A, this is Art. Well, this, this what? Art said it, it needs the gold needs more black wash. That would probably help. But I just think yeah, it's, that would definitely help. It's still too awkward looking. It know. looks yeah. like a it looks like a fridge. He's just yeah. like weird. Um, but the next one we're going into NECA. There's going to be a mix match. I should have sort of separated Ninja Turtle, but we'll just talk as the images go up. You guys are 
knowing yeah. that this is just sort of like us BSing and talking about Toy Fair stuff. Oh, looks and, so good. Uh, I'm so glad I passed on the, the Super 7 version of Baxter. Super 7, I feel, isn't doing enough. Um, it's cool that they're articulated, and I know I'm probably getting you know, beat up because I said that. I just feel like with the last images, let's say, of the newer stuff, like Mutagen Man, I don't feel like they did anything different besides give them articulation, honestly. Um, well, the style, the style is, you know, the toy style mm -hmm, and this right. is cartoon style, which I would rather have because I never had the toys as a kid, but I did watch the cartoon every but now the, and then. But honestly, like besides the extra articulation and stuff like that, I might as well just have the originals for what I was looking with Super 7. I mean, their turtles yeah. having the multiple heads and stuff in, is pretty cool. But Well, the neck has just as much articulation, probably more. Right. And I do like uh, this. I like this back here for sure. And, and they're half the price. I mean, they're 25 compared to 40 or 45. 45 for, yeah. I don't yeah. understand their pricing. I don't get it. People pay it. <laughs> but That's uh, why I, probably... I think it's a bigger scale. I mean, I don't have anything to judge that on, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's maybe a little bit larger. Yeah, well, ne ne NECA is seven inch, right? So mm -hmm. is Super 7 bigger than that? I don't know. Well, who, who's doing the sculpt on it? Is it um, the same guys that, uh, what's their name? Four, four Horsemen? Horsemen? Yeah, I think the I Four know. Horsemen did a lot of sculpts for their turtles. So, so I would assume it's that scale. Mochi the Bucky O'Hare figures are, uh, talking to Nightwalker here, Bucky O'Hare figures are done by Boss Fight. I mm -hmm. have a few of them. They're, they're nice. Yeah, I got two of the Toads right next to me, actually. Oh, did you get those? I haven't got those yet. I kind of want them. Maybe we'll yeah, work on some me. trades. You have two, huh? Yeah, you should send me one. Oh, I mean, I could get rid of two, to be honest. Oh, well, doesn't really right. fit with my collection. I got them because I was gonna. I, I was really stoked about them, and they're amazing. I just don't have a, a spot for Bucky O'Hare, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, we'll work out some deals, Ryan. Right. Um, yes. But yeah, this Baxter looks great. Um, mm -hmm. NECA has always been known for doing their little subtle mini hints on stuff and hiding stuff in their dios and displays, and I love it. But this Baxter definitely screams the cartoon and video game, too. Yeah, and, and that is... The accessory. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a baby shredder, and it even has articulation at that size, which is awesome. Yeah. Looks like shoulders and crotch. Then we got this giant Toon Turtle. So for all you movie buying, what is that? That's like one six scale? Quarter scale. Quarter scale. Oh, are you talking about the six scale or the quarter scale? Or 12? I guess, it, yeah, it's not. they didn't make a one six scale. It'd be a quarter scale. It's quarter scale. So this would mm -hmm. be a quarter scale too then. Like 18 inches? Yeah. So I think it's cool because I think those, if you have a spot to put like a whole set of these, I mean, they're going to look nice, but that's some room taken up for sure. Yeah, that's a lot of real estate. A lot of room. And then see, oh. I, I mixed it up. We got some Back to the Future. Dude, I'm so excited for this. So are, are these seven inch scale? What scale is this? Uh, it's got to be. That's their normal. Um, yeah. their normal, Terminator scale. Yeah. And okay, because yeah. I could have sworn I saw a picture of these next to the eight inch clothed. Uh, line they do and they these looked way bigger oh really yeah i think these might be like 12 12 inch that would be Man. a little bit weird but they look so fantastic oh, dude finally back to the future yeah no one's done them before i'm getting it do they uh, like what was the holdup is it like licensing with likeness rights or probably I, yeah i would assume I that it would be the likeness rights I mean, I you, really this, because both of these are, are uh, Michael J. Fox. So, mm -hmm. you know, they still, where's Doc, you know? Yeah. I really hope it's seven inch and they give us a DeLorean. <laughs> mm. NECA would knock it out of the park doing a DeLorean. My favorite all time Ninja Turtle character right here. Yeah. And it's yeah. a Walmart exclusive. It's going to suck. Yeah. It sucks. So bad, but in a two in a two pack with that uh, Raphael. The Raphael. Um, 
who's Walmart's act like my Walmart does not carry any NECA product. I know certain places do not all the Walmarts do. So yeah. Uh, one of my, one of the Walmarts near me doesn't have anything in there. You it's going to have to be an online pre-order, second. but God, last time I sucks. pre-ordered anything, I got charged like 10 times. Yep. <laughs> and it was a big issue and they didn't really care. They gave me maybe like a $5 credit or something that wasn't like, they cared about that much um that but sucks. i'm gonna get a hold of this i have to i think this is awesome looking yeah i'm gonna risk the pre-order to make sure i get it um then we get into the tune turtles like i said this is sort of a mix-up but like these two together actually no they're gonna be each with the foot soldier and those foot soldiers break apart from battle damage oh and that's I, awesome and i cool. can't wait to actually get these so i gotta get the casey and the foot soldier in the april and, I'll and this, this this dio is the next dial and it does have that antenna on it. That's awesome. And it has like a, a billboard on the other side. So we're getting that too. Ooh, selling the separate or they're gonna wait for a con exclusive, probably. Well, they they put they put this out, you know, with different paint at stores at Target. So I, I'm awesome. sure yeah, I'm sure this one will, will be in stores. This this makes me super happy. That they're doing like little intricate details like this of like, so like that's probably gonna come up Baxter most likely. Yeah. See ya, Sammy. But uh, it's it's just really cool that they're they go the extra mile for these things when they don't have to. Which you know, take it really easy, Sammy, for the fans. Sammy, have a good night. Then we get into some horror, which we jump back here. Uh, we got they live. I've never seen they live. Neither have uh, I. Oh, so, dude, you're banned for sure. <laughs> Shut up. Is it, is it, uh, <laughs> you're double banned. Damn. Uh, Art G, I'm going to have to hit you up. If you if you have four Walmarts that sell NECA, I'm gonna, I think cannibals are going to be hitting you up <laughs> for that stuff. So they live. Uh, I mean, the figure looks cool. I just need to watch it. I know prem- the premise of it. I just haven't had sat down and watched it. The ghost face um, looks good, too. Ghost face looks great. It's been past due um the last one they released i think was more of like there was no soft goods on it i don't believe i think it was all plastic all right you're definitely banned now judd come on man <laughs> yeah well I'm gonna, I'm gonna make judd an admin he's kicking your ass out oh shit <laughs> but i think both these figures look good there's some more toonie terrors we got uh nosferatu ash and the nun which that movie was so bad like i don't know why they're making figures for it yeah, that ash looks good. And here we go. That's awesome. I can't wait for that. I don't really I don't need them as much, but I need this. I just want the crane, yeah. I need that in my life because it's going to be amazing. And you we're going to end up getting two heaven stuck with two cranes, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Like so that what? looks good. <laughs> yeah, those, rock, are, those, yeah. those two look great too. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to lie. But this is just definitely the main focus. And then you got some weird like turtle, like foot soldiers with weird head things on. So good idea. I guess maybe futures of that. Get some metal head. Not as excited for this one as much. Hey, Nightwalker Nightwalker wants to know how old we are. I'm uh, 58. And uh, (laughs) (laughs) nah, man, I'm uh, I'm, I'm, uh, 37. Yeah, I'm right there too. I'm 38. 38. I'm 38. So we're all we're we're eighties babies. Yep. So this is why a lot of this we we have this passion for it. And it's probably one of the best eras to grow up in. You know, we got to experience that as a kid to go to Toys R Us when Toys R Us was in its prime. And you know, that's that's something that kids nowadays will never experience because they're playing Fortnite, getting into tablets and stuff and we're 30 something year old people getting into figures. So yeah. not my kid. He's all about the Ben 10 line. We went out hunting for it today. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And it actually, I Ben 10 for what it is. It, it's a cool line of action figures. It reminds me of um, the old school turtles. You know, they're just wacky looking characters, bright colors. They're, they're really cool. I watched a couple episodes of it. It's actually a yeah. pretty decent show. Mm-hmm. So nothing wrong with with some Ben 10 
But uh, Metalhead, I was just like, it's cool. It's Metalhead. I just wasn't like I needed that figure. Um, I couldn't find the picture, but I know there was a picture of a trash can that had Joey Eyeball in it from the cartoon. Yeah. Oh, so nice. they were teasing like Muckman's in Muckman, the Muckman for sure. Yeah. Well, the Ace the Duck stuff in the background looks awesome. The Randy was saying they still Ace have a Duck. lot to show yeah. off in, at San Diego. So I'm sure they'll probably show Muckman at San well, Diego. You, they're but showing like you can look at Ace Duck right back there in the posters. Yeah. Looks awesome. Oh, that would be sick. But I'm not a fan of like like Slash. They were releasing Slash. I like the video game looking Slash better than the cartoon Slash. The cartoon Slash looked too goofy. The video game will look, looks great, but then it has the video game style paint on it. I'm like, give me that Slash with normal paint. Mm -hmm. And that'll be my Slash for my collection. Um, so with the Mugman, I feel like he's just going to have that weird, goofy, maybe like a single tooth, like two too cartoony or too nice looking or happy and friendly. Well, you know, they want to get the most out of their mold. So we'll get the cartoon paint and the video game paint. I mean, they've, they've already showed leatherhead with both. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and, yeah. and, 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 uh, spike, they showed spike with both paint too. I think the video game style and cartoon that Raphael looks, I mean, cool. we, we have the Raphael already. We just <clears> don't have all his little trench coatness. I got a trench coat. For I got one from. Uh, yeah, and you got uh, the baseball bat too, didn't you? Came with no, the coat? Oh. no, I just the trench coat and the hat from uh, the Instagrammer. Um, damn it, Art G knows who I'm talking about. If he's still in the chat. Anyway, um, if you go back, you, you know how they just repop that uh, Raphael to add that trench coat. Do you think oh, they're going to yeah. do the same with uh, Casey Jones and give uh, an unmasked face? I hope well, maybe not. he'll come with one. Maybe. Night oh, Nightwalker awesome. Nightwalker's throwing me under the bus. He's like it. He, he was asking our age, and then he said, "And y'all never seen the they live, bro." Yeah, I haven't. I haven't, man. Dude, I but I've like, seen it. It's good. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Yeah. So, uh, Judd Gavin has some of the original line too from like Rebel what, Ten 15, Customs. Fifteen. Yes, Rebel Ten Customs. But yeah, he has some of the original line too from like 2005 around then, and they are really good. Look at the splinter though. Yeah. With a soft goods rope. That looks great, man. Where where are you, Super Seven? Where are you? <laughs> Nowhere. Look they'll, like, put yeah, up, they'll put has, up Splinter for pre-order and forty five dollars each. He and, even uh, has a little like it looks like he comes with probably a scroll, scroll. or something. It's mm -hmm. it looks so good. And I'm just like and twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars well, I mean, or it's I mean, fifty and you get two figures. Super seven is doing different style. I understand. Yeah, I understand. So, but I just I, I Yeah, but see the thing is with Super Seven, you could actually pre order it and get it. True. Relatively <laughs> easily. Burn. <laughs> I mean, most yeah. people who can't get this are paying that price, 45 bucks, double That's the price true. online. That's secondary a really market. Point. So, you know, the select food that can actually pay normal price when it comes out because it's only released at Target. So if you're lucky enough to get it. I mean, that's still an issue with, you know, with like this set. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of people that still have not got the Rocksteady and Bebop, and I would have been that person, but my neighbor was. Dude, you haven't up. opened. You have not opened that yet. Really, we're gonna get into this right now. <laughs> the name of your channel is Unboxing Art. I understand, but <laughs> if you saw what was, I could barely move in this room. Okay, yeah, you you have I, I can you, pivot you like this. <laughs> and that's about it. There's, I have a lot of stuff. It's just, I, so ex just a quick example. Like I, for like example, I have a bunch of diamonds, like Ghostbuster figures. I still need to review because I want to build the firehouse or whatever. I could sit there and slam them on one video. I just don't like doing that. I like having individual videos and just saying, Hey, if you want to see the articulation, go to a different video. Cause I already did it instead of, I'd rather do that, but it takes time, man. Yeah. I can record and edit. Fair enough. So RG, yeah. you're right, man. There are so many different turtles to get into. So if you like any style, you should be able to find one. Yeah. <laughs> and just stick this. with one. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you're broke. 
The I, Super I, I Shredder. Out of space. I have no space for any more turtles, yet I keep buying them. The yep. Super Shredder looks great. Yeah. I personally will not buy, be buying any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 2 figures. What about Vanilla Ice? If they did Vanilla Ice, I would buy it. Okay. I would. There would be no hesitation there. Got to got to support Mr. Rob Van Winkle. I think that's his <laughs> real name. But uh, but yeah, no. I mean, it looks great. This looks like Super Shredder. Um, it's weird that they did like this weird, like cartoony style. Yeah, it's hard to. I don't remember. I, it was so darkly lit in the movie. I don't remember if it actually looked like that. I, who knows? I, it I might have just it been weeks ago. I don't think it was. Might just been a puppet. Yeah, it, it no, this it was a all... uh, who was that? It was like Kevin Nash, wasn't it? It might have been Kevin Nash. Who was I think, the... it, yeah, I think it was Kevin Nash, <clears throat> but yeah, it was horribly lit. And I remember as a kid going back and like rewinding it and pausing it so I could try to get that glimpse and see what Super Shredder really looked like, you know. But this is this is cool, I mean, it's definitely gonna work. But I know a lot of people are geeking out uh, about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I want the yep. Toka and Raza, whatever. They have articulated that's a, faces. That's, that's, oh, that's their jaw supposed to be slash jaw that's, and that's been slash jaw and uh, eyebrows. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, Wait. and and his little beak thing that that moves up and down. Wait, jaws and eyebrows are articulated. Yeah, so his eyebrows move up and down over his eyes. So, or not just the eyebrow, but like the whole brow, like moves up and down, so he can like have like a surprised look on his face, you know, or like whatever huh yeah it looked it looked really cool i mean they definitely look amazing yeah uh, I, I always liked toko over razar because razar just looked like uh somebody that needed some plastic surgery uh, my whole thing always... is, you know when i was a kid and this movie came out i was like why aren't they rock steady and bebop why didn't they yeah. just do that i think yeah. everybody was yeah i mean they did a lot of changes and this stuff they didn't follow through because i mean what was it after they fought Super Shredder. That scientist guy picked up the ooze container, and he was supposed to be technically a Krang. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Always thought he was Baxter Stockman. Is that who it was? No, that's. I mean, that's what I thought too uh, as a kid. But then reading into it, they actually were planning to have the third movie be more Krang related. Mm. But then you got these guys. Triceratons. There they are. They look good. Yeah. They look good. They you think they'll good. be in a three pack or they'll pack one in with like a foot soldier? I think it I think it'll be a three pack. Yeah. I would hope so. I like that they're individual sculpts too. I'm looking at them thinking that mm -hmm. they're gonna be reusing them, but no. No, you can tell by the fins. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, this is the one that's more a lot of people are more recognized to, yeah. you know, but I, I think they look pretty solid for what they are. Don't really see any articulation in them, though. This one I do, but I don't see any like, oh, I guess that is a little bit. Huh. I'm sure they're fully articulated like everything else. And that is it. That is it for, for what I have for NECA. All right. Is that the last one? Are we done? That is that is it. We're done for right now. So right. or for for Toy Fair. I know there's a lot that we missed. We didn't get to talk about uh Transformers. Um we didn't get to talk about Storm Collectibles, things like that. If you guys uh enjoyed the stream and you want us to do more on the Toy Fair or you want us to do more streams like this live, uh let us know. I mean, we can try not to make them two hours and twenty something minutes long. But I don't know. This is this is how we are in Plastic Cannibals. Like when I'm talking about it, then in my videos to join in Plastic Cannibals, and I say to come in and join these Ernest, Ryan, these are the type of people that are in this group, even in the chat. If you're not part of Plastic Cannibals and you've seen how the chat's going and we're all just interacting because we know everybody, you know, so come and join Plastic Cannibals, get into this, you know collecting group and we can look out for one another and try to it, it makes collecting so much easier you know especially when a prime example uh shoki is in a different state he's ways away from me end up finding me uh well he posted in, in up 
for uh, some people like, Hey, anybody looking for the cuckoos? And I said, well, I was looking for them. And then he's like, well, maybe I could find a third one. You need a third. One? I'm like, well, yeah, I need to get a third one. Sure enough. He found all three and he's going to be mailing them to me. I sent him the money. That's just what he's going to do. And then that's how we look out for one another. Cause yeah, the next thing he's, you know, he's looking for something. I can find it. I can send it to him. That's just what we do. Ernest, uh, Found this for me just a few days ago and shipped it out. I got the new Earthrise Starscream. I was it's, so I have yeah. not seen that, and I would be super tempted to get it, but I'm like, no. <laughs> thankfully, Bot Mode is very similar to the other one, and I'm I'm cool with it. Yeah, so, but it's the Alt Mode, man. No, that jet stop, looks awesome. Stop, it's stop, so sick. Stop. You're you're a plastic pusher, <laughs> and you are an enabler. enabler. Tar, tar, Target's got that uh, buy one get one. 50% off. Yeah, maybe I should okay, just... so I went to my Target today. They didn't, they have, didn't it. have it? Mm -mm. Oh, man. That's totally... That sucks. Hang on. I thought it was like a nationwide thing. I'm gonna look because it up right Ernest now. and RG live in a world where they get clearance <laughs> and find all these magical things that nobody else can yeah. find. It, it's those yeah. two specifically that stand out the most to me because they're always like, oh, yeah, I found this. RG is like, oh, uh, you need a two pack? I got one fifteen dollars. Like, I'm like, how are you finding this? Do you guys just live in like a area that nobody buys anything? Yeah, pretty much. It's like me and I think maybe at one other collector that collects Funko Pops. So I don't ever see any Funko Pops, but you know, everything else I can wait. Normally, I can play the long game for. Um, not so. not in Seattle, man. The shelves get stripped bare in Seattle. It's over where I'm at. I mean, I got. Yeah. There's that whole DMV crew that goes through and they have like routines. And then I got my buddy Kevin who is hits other areas too. And I'm like, man, he'll do those hauls. Uh, you'll see like uh, Kevin Womack, he'll post in the plastic animals, like those giant oh, yeah. hauls. I'm like, good mm -hmm. God. He's got the epic hauls, man. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? But you know. it's awesome. Uh, the thing that sucks though is you guys, even though you may not see those figures, you guys see them more frequently. Like when I finally get them, that's it for me. It's like, maybe I'll get a second run, but since nobody buys them, that's it. I just have to I, wait till they hit clearance. And see, I, and that's what you do too. You play that clearance game pretty yeah. heavily. <laughs> oh, that's, I have to, I can't afford like half of the stuff that's going on, especially with the prices going up. I mean, 30 bucks at GameStop. I told them straight up. I went in there. I'm like, your prices are $30 for real. And they're like, yeah, we got a bag sale going on. I'm like, I was like, get out of here with that bag sale. Yeah, I, I can't afford this. I could just go to Walmart and pick these up. I would never do that. Yeah. Thirty dollars, get out of here. Yeah. And that stuff yeah. will hit GameStop clearance for sure because nobody's touching it. I mean, that is uh, that that's the cannibals in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> but that's and we're we're anti scalping too. It's a good thing. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever posted up anything for more than retail in the group. I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> and you, you will be banned. <laughs> but I, but it's also the thing too of you know what if you're trading with somebody, you guys like as adults in the in the group. If you're trading with somebody, you guys can make adult decisions of what you feel is trading and is worth the trade. Right. Nobody needs to hold your hand for that. So right. Um, I mean, I, I traded Ryan uh, uh, some dirty socks and a toothpick for a pink skull. Uh, yeah, Chaos Club figure, and I appreciate that. I was like, dude, if you that toothpick, you just chew it a little bit, you bring the cinnamon back out, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs> no, but I think the the group is pretty fair. Like, if something's been out for a long time and nobody wants it, and it's a valuable thing, and you know, I've seen some people post in other places. Like, yeah, like, I think it's reasonable. I think it's fair. If I have a vinyl cape, Ken or Jawa on card, mm -hmm. I'm not selling it for two ninety nine. Yeah, retail right. price. You know, <laughs> that's that's different though. Like, yeah, you, old, but you get old, what I'm saying. You know? Yeah, like old figures and stuff like that. Like, you're not. I'm not going to go buy a a GI Joe figure for eight dollars or seven dollars, and when they're you know people are flip, selling them for like twenty or something like that because it's just not mm -hmm. in production anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the way Hasbro's going. Yeah, but you, it might be. You might as well start. I think a lot of those collectors that are upset that Hasbro's repopping old figures, you better start selling if you want Shit. that value to stay. 
shouldn't be upset about that. I mean, to be able to allow other collectors that may not be able to get those or don't have the money, uh, I feel that's selfish. You know, yeah. I, I, I again, I don't have anything that I collect for value, really. I collect because I want it. If it's like, oh, coincidentally, when I started getting into Storm Collectibles, I didn't think that the ninjas were going to go up in price, but mm-hmm. it seems like Mortal Kombat Storm Collectibles, it's, <laughs> those original ninjas went up ridiculous amounts. Yeah, they did. Even had people offer me money for it, you know? And I was just like, no, I'm just like, this is just, I'm collecting it. I could have made right. triple, triple my money. But that is basically it for tonight's toy fair 2020 discussion i want to give a huge shout out to ernest and ryan for staying on here as long as you guys have and uh we're willing to actually get in here and chat with you guys and i wanted to go live for you guys as well because i don't do it that often and i probably should if you guys really enjoy this type of banter back and forth talking about figures so uh definitely make sure you guys uh comment down below let us know what you guys think definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and uh, I want you guys to also make sure you guys show some love to everybody that was in the chat. You got Art G. You know, I could list a bunch of YouTube, but just ch- come into Plastic Cannibals and they'll solve all your problems. Just come on in here. Answer those three questions. And uh, thank you, guys. I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day. <laughs>